Hello, everyone, and welcome into another episode of the Prince Division. You know, it's your boy, it's the Bosco, and we're going to play Around the Horn, everybody's favorite intro game. And we're going to kick it off with our DM extraordinaire who probably needs some prep time. Monty Glue, where can they find you? My microphone is broken, maybe. I don't know. It's been a stressful week. Aww. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's it's me, Monty Glue. Um, and I'm here to entertain you. Um, oh my god, I, you kind of came out of, I literally was about to say something, Bosco, and then you came out of left field and just like sucker punched me and then started talking and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you should be used to bears sucker punching you. I'm a Chicago just, bear, so. I just want a visual interpretation of that now, if someone can draw. I just draw like, somebody in a bears jersey sucker punching Monty. Perfect. Oh, man. Um, so, I'm Monty Glue. Hello. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, where I'm posting pictures of art and other stuff. And also, for some reason, a lot of people are drawing my Goliath Oss, and I don't know why, but I, I'm not complaining. I, I, I'm really happy okay. about it. He, it's like, oh, oh, oh my, thank you, okay. <laughs> um, so you can see me retweeting art and all kinds of different stuff. You can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where tomorrow will be more Final Fantasy IX. I'm, it's probably, like, like no offense, Connor, because Devil May Cry is fun, but... I'm really enjoying playing Final Fantasy IX right now. Like, we're really getting into the meat of the story. And we had probably one of the hardest dungeons in the entire game last time. Like, I had a I had a map and a diagram up, and I was sweating while looking at it, trying to figure out what the hell to do. It was very stressful. Um, so definitely come and check that out. It's really, really fun. Um, we're trying to do some side quest stuff and also, like, you know, obviously go through the main story. So just come, come check it out. Sarah, where can they find you? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E, William. She's for Williams. I couldn't fit it all. Wake up! Ah! Why? Why yell? Why yell? I was doing a bit. Why yell? Mean. Stung. You're too good of an actress. She thought you were actually low energy. <laughs> yeah. Really, it was a compliment when you think about it. Continue. Uh, I mean, you yeah. don't got... Anything Never mind. Totally All right. Hey, Arkov, yeah, where can they find you? Well, you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash Edward Bosco, where on Fridays we do MW Friday Night Flashbang. Long form storytelling with the community's characters. You make a wrestler, we pit them against each other. Chaos ensues. Also, just did a signing earlier today. More has been hotel stuff. I think it went pretty well. <coughs> And I do believe that I, Edward Bosco, also recorded a podcast with Gaijin Goomba concerning anime and whatnot. Are you done? Yeah, I got nothing else. I, okay, cool. <laughs> um, so I apologize to the comments because I'm going to plug Arkov, who can be found on twitch.tv slash Arkov. He does streaming on Saturdays for the Prince Division right here with us. On Sundays, he does the Murder Cave with the murder cave grizzly adam shattered answer bob and codename chaz and then throughout the week he's been going through yakuza and he's been playing warhammer and a whole bunch of other cool things and he also helps record all of the matches or at least some of the matches for kurt's mnw show on sundays which you could find at twitch.tv slash takahata 101 and he's also raising money for a good cause so every bit and sub that you throw at him is going to help fill up that bar that you see on his screen, which is the whole reason why I plug him on all my streams. Because he's raising money for a good cause. Connor, where can they find you? Oh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, playing some Warhammer 40k Kill Team on the tabletop. That's a lot of fun. Uh, currently, the ongoing game is... Uh, my friend uh, Luke's word bearers versus my Katachan jungle fighters. And uh, Cap Captain G.I. Sleeveless Joe is uh, going head to head <laughs> in a fist fight with a corn berserker. And neither of them are giving an inch. And it's, it's insane. It's a legendary <laughs> throwdown. The, the shirtless company is, or the sleeveless company is really, really letting them have it. Um, shown them the might of the emperor to those heretics. Um, other than that, I play Yakuza 2. Yakuza Kiwami 2, that is. Uh, and I, I I, don't think I've ever laughed so hard at, at a game. 
just it, it's so funny. Like it's a serious crime drama, but it, it, it you got to give props to the people over at over at Ryu Gagotoku Studios uh and Sega of course and their localization team. Very funny stuff. Um I also play a couple of other games on Fridays and, and Sundays, and that's fun. Mostly uh, multiplayer games with my friends. Also, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. <laughs> it's the it's the funny joke again, uh, where you uh, go follow this link and buy a Founders Pack if you like vampire games. It's going to be fun. Uh, also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild page, uh, where I just recently, uh, earlier this week, came out with the... Uh, Oath of Troy Paladin. That's right. Uh, it is a paladin subclass that lets you support your allies by giving generously of your own power. You protect your loved ones with further enhanced base paladin abilities. You become the gift that keeps on giving. If you want to keep your, par your party holly jolly and kicking the Krampus out of your foes, the Oath of Joy is for you. Uh, and you can find that right here. I worked very hard, and I'm very proud of this subclass. I appreciate people dropping reviews and also uh, um, critique as well. I, I love that. Play test it, guys. Yeah. Tell me how it goes. Yeah. <clears throat> also, speaking of joy, don't forget to check out our sponsors, Die Hard Dice. This Yay. is not a drill. This is legitimate. Die Hard Dice, the official sponsor of the Unexpectables and the Prince Division. Don't forget to use the promo code EXPECTJOY. There's the tie-in. To get 15% off. That's more than tax. That's an actual discount beyond tax. That's a good deal. So if you're looking for the perfect holiday gift, Monty said it on Wednesday. If you've got a group and you don't know what to get them, if you buy just like a set of their acrylic dice, one for each member of your party, and they all come to the table with that, think about how cool that would be. So yeah, check out Die Hard Dice and their whole line of dice, including, they just rolled out a new line, Connor, if I'm not mistaken, of multi-class dice? That is correct. They're magnetic dice. You can click uh, two different sides of uh, D20 together and make multicolored dice with it. It's really, really cool. And I'm sure for, like, a multi-classing min-max or piece of shit like you, that's, like, perfect, right? Exactly. <laughs> hey, now, don't really? call up my friend Darian like that, except for he doesn't min-max, he just <laughs> classes. Uh, also, uh, be sure to uh, get in those purchases now, because at mm -hmm. the end of the night, that fifteen percent uh, that fifteen percent off is gone. It'll be back to five percent by the end of the night. Really? Okay. So you only have yep. tonight. This is your last chance, guys. Order it during the show. Actually, get I think your it's tomorrow. Remy dice. Do it tomorrow night. Actually, my 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 mistake. Uh, the twentieth is the cutoff date. So get going. Buy some dice. And tell them the unexpectable sent you. Yeah, no, but please, like, actually do that. That'd be awesome. Keep on code expect joy. <laughs> so how about some bits and subs, Connor? You got that on lock? Absolutely. Let's do uh, it. Let's go for it. Let's launch over it. Um, a digital mask. Thank you for the nine months. Just some random Steve. Thank you for the nine months as well. Nia C. Fleckery, thank you for the four months of Tier 1 subage. The Twit Gamer, thank you for the seven months of Prime subage. I Stop quit. mean to me. <laughs> he always says that to me. He's got a picture that goes with it. Stop mean to me. Stop mean to me. <laughs> it's a sad kitty. Well, like to Buya, thank you for the 200 bits. Jade Vexstate, thank you for the 40 bits. Hype with pocket bits. Oh, thank you. Impact Frame, thank you for the six months of subage. Blue Kaios were the 10,000 bits. Holy cow. Thank you so much, Blue Kios. 445. 10,000 bit of runies. And that's not the first time he's dropped that large, huge amount. Question I have uh, 46.4K channel points. What should I do with them? Hmm. Uh, I think you can actually unlock like specific emotes with your channel points. I don't know what the value is on this channel, but that's honestly for me, if you don't have like even $5 because times are tough. You can unlock specific emotes when you use a certain amount of points. And then you can also modify those emotes with another uh, purchase. So you can yeah, like put sunglasses on them, invert hours. them. 
So you can you can have like specialized emotes that only you have if you spend those points. You can also highlight your messages. So those are the three things that come to my mind when I'm like, oh, what do I do with these? Unlock emotes that you wouldn't otherwise have. Switch them around and modify them like that. There you go. I think that's a theropod one or a Taurus one with glasses on. And then highlight your messages because sometimes I'll see those during the break. So if you want during the halftime show to get my attention, that's a good way to do it without dropping any money. It's true. Did did did, did we get a did we get a rule wrong? Be sure to highlight your message. And yeah. Tell us. <laughs> did you want to let us know how hide in plain sight works? Please <laughs> highlight your message so I can deliver the message to Zito, who totally doesn't know how D and D works. I'll screenshot it and, and post it right to him. Oh, tell us all again how I'm not using how I'm not using Chaos Bolt right. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Blue Kios, for the ten thousand. Yes, bits. also really I like the messages so that the Citra King and the mods can also time you out for backseat gaming. <laughs> exactly. So we know exactly who. <laughs> It really does help uh, us out. Guys, don't antagonize people. Come on. <laughs> Pseudonym, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Holy cow, dude. 25 subs to the community. Thank you so much. Courtesy of Pseudonym92. Also, it's 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 spelled wrong, and it's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled S-U-D-O-N-I-M, and I, it's, it's making me angry. <laughs> it's making me cur. It's making me so mad. Uh, Philip Chanter, thank you for the nine months of uh, subscribing. Hope you guys are having a good and safe December. The Prince Division has inspired me to make my own webcomic. Ooh, Ooh. awesome. You have to let us Hi, let dude. us know what that's all about, man. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, H. Lone Heart, thank you for the nine months. What was that? Barbecue. I have a beard, and sometimes uh, okay. it likes to be food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you just like you're complimenting that person on the webcam. It's like I hope it goes well. I just imagine you just stuck out your tongue like 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 a kid or something. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, so anyway. <laughs> no, it's uh my my beard likes to say, Hey, can we come in here? And tries to go in my mouth. I'm like, no <laughs> You gotta trim the edges then. You can make a short story horror on that. I really, I really do. I really do. At least the, the like the mu because if you have the full beard with the mustache, like just trim so that it doesn't fall into your mouth. I really should. Yeah, I've let it go for a month. Okay, yes, I will. Re I will repreface this. People are noticing it. Um, I'm on a different microphone because my current, either my preamp or my microphone, is currently malfunctioning and it's actually messing up my recordings. And I want Austin to like us. So. so we're trying to help yeah, out the sure. engineer, but we've we've troubleshot it. We're going to try some stuff, and then hopefully either by Wednesday or – actually, no, you have a whole week. I have more time, luckily, yeah, yes. You actually but... have an extra week to take care of it. So, yeah, hopefully by the time we're live again, which, by the way, that's a good time to mention. Uh, oh, yes. Nothing on Wednesday and nothing next Saturday, right? Yeah. Nothing on Friday either. Off. Taking another week off? We're yeah, taking we're a week taking off the holidays. Yep. Uh, oh, so I'm going to have my friends over, and we're going to watch Great British Bake Off and Bake Stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, we're yeah. So from the twentieth to the 29th we're gonna have nothing. Uh, the thirtieth we'll be back with with the unexpected. So, uh, just be kind of nice to have a break. Um, and I, I I definitely could use a break again. Yeah. Uh, barbecue man one hundred and one. Thank you for the nine God, months. Hey Brian, you do a flip. Uh, Sir Thomas Percy. Thank you for the nine months sub for nine months. No, I'm not ready to be a sub, baby. You're the baby now, Sir Thomas Percy. But thank you for the nine months. Uh, Nom Nom Goblin, thank you for the tier two subage for seven months. Almost caught up with the unexpectables, but I can pause for now. Also, Bosco, stop staring at me in the maw. I want to get my quests done. <laughs> Nothing escapes the maw. And you should uh, ex except the main character who literally is shut up the right, right after you say that. Shut up, I'm who bad. Would, I'm so cool. Would, who would win? A giant gray chain boy or one hearthstone? Uh clearly it's the giant gray boy if you're running the campaign. Okay, shut up. I was about to say <laughs> nothing shut escapes up. the maw. Shut shut damn up. it. <laughs> nothing <laughs> escapes the maw. That I want to escape the maw. Come here, you. Because I don't want to spoil what happens. Fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. <laughs> no! Oh, God, why? Uh, oh, Blue Skull, oh, thank, you for the, oh. thank you for the two months of Prime Subage. Hello, Prince Division. Hi. Hi. Mutron 9, thank you for the two months of Prime Subage as well. Hey, I'm off work for once. Happy to catch you guys live again. Maybe a different universe, but praise Oriara. Love you guys. Well, thank you so much. 
Ragnarok, thank you for the uh, nine months of subage. Uh, Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hey guys, I am a GMing a Curse of Strahd game tonight. The party has three dire wolves as companions and are heading to Valaki. Oh god. You know uh, the worst you... the worst part of having pets in a DD game, especially a game like Ravenloft, is that that's just targets right there. Just right there. Like <laughs> you can't get emotionally attached because then it's good. Mm, mm. You can pet the dog. <laughs> oh, you can pet the dog for a little bit before the dog feels just anyway, I've had experiences playing DMT. You can have companions as long as their name Still is alive to Chris Rosita for his commentary. On like... <laughs> Rest in peace, Chubby Chester. You will be missed. Requiescat in pace. Fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rod Scott. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 77 bits. Uh, Dude the Man, thank you for the 100 bits. As someone who plays a wizard pretending to be a civvy, uh, only... Casting in rare circumstances, doesn't it feel good to bust out that smite last session, Bosco? What smite? What was the thing you used against the necromancer guy? Oh, yeah. it was uh, it was a magically imbued uh, halberd. Yeah, but you did some spell for the first time. Yeah, it, well, it was, it was, it was really, it was, really angry, and the guy fell. Yeah, down. it was just it was a turn to stone like halberd thing. No, no, you did a different spell. It wasn't the halberd. You you cast something. You oh, no, it was totally, the, yeah, it was, the, it was definitely the halberd because I hit him with the halberd and it was like... <laughs> Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the five months. Uh, kick some criminal ass, boys and girls. We will not because we're not on a case right now. Uh, uh, the Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the leet bits. Unicorn cannonball. <gasps> oh, no. Gamma Leo, thank you for the nine months in a row. Oh, joy. That's right. The Oath of Joy, available now on DMs Guild. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Bits for Sarah with Final Fantasy Abridged officially over. I think we could get one last Tank Sarah Tops for old time's sake. <laughs> I don't want to blast people's ears. Yeah. Tank Sarah Tops! Three ticketing! <laughs> Bosco was my dad in that show. It's I true. I was. My favorite joke was the one with Dan Zan or whatever. It's just, or not Dan Zan. It was like uh, the guy who taught you your moves or whatever. What was his name? Oh, uh, no, I think you, I think you were was about it, right. Was it Dan Zan? Yeah, I think it was Dan Zan. It's just like, don't worry, Dan Zan will save the day. Dan Zan died immediately. <laughs> like that was my favorite <laughs> entire series. Like I had to pause. I was laughing so hard. I, I think my favorite Zangan. part is still was just the name? drunk rant. I Zangan. went on. Zan Gan. Zan Gan. That was it. it was Dan Zan. Dan is, Zan is a little raccoon Dan fucker. Dan is, yeah, is Gaijin's character. That I loved, the, uh, wait, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say the other one, the other one was when it's just like, oh, I was just with my, it's like flashbacking to like Tifa going, shoulder deep cloud uh, with my, uh, I'm gonna kill him, like my friends. <laughs> just like that part also killed me too. I, I, I constantly go back to that part where Tifa has gone tits up drunk and she's just like, she just like, Tell, saying to you, it's like, hey, let, let, let's talk for real quick, okay? Like, I ad lib so much of that, and I don't even know how I hit that high pitch when I was just like, I'm gonna go on every ride. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> just like, I don't know how I did have that stuff, but I don't even remember doing it. I'm like, how much was that the script? Like, it's so, it's, I'm so <laughs> proud of that acting. I want to put the acting real because it can't channel out that. So good. But you don't realize that she was also drunk when she recorded. Uh oh. I mean, I should do more sessions drunk. That'd probably be interesting. No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> Why not? It could be fun. Um, KG said he had a great session when he had some whiskey at one point. <laughs> some so whiskey and being you. drunk is very I different. Would tell story, Soma, but I have a story, but don't be the burnout Vaughn of voice acting, Sarah. Just don't do it. Like, I would tell that story because I love that story. He's told it at cons, so it's fine to tell it, but I have a feeling we need to get started, so. Sending bits because Die Hard Dice compels me to, and I fear that if I don't, Bosco's voice will replace someone in my personal. <laughs> so I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I probably, whoever you think I'm going to replace, I've probably already dubbed them, but I can't talk about it till next year. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you'll be you'll be thinking back to this moment. You'll be like, "Oh god, oh, shit! Oh god, he's coming for me next." Uh. Alevians, thank you for the nine months getting two sets of metal dice for my birthday, doubling my diehard dice. Ooh. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 80 bits. DM Warchief, thank you for the subbing. Cy Wolfen, thank you for the four months. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Chocolate Zombie 101, thank you for the seven months. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 88 bits. Dude the Man, thank you for the 100 bits. Also, hi, Therapod. Hi, Vod Squad. Roto Ryu, thank you for the squad. nine months of Prime Subbage. A little early, but Merry Xmas. Uh, just about a, a dra just bought a dragon trove from Die Hard Dice. Ooh, nice. A Shandarai, thank you for the 2,500 bits. I'm so excited. And then Connor made the Pog Champ reference. <laughs> I know. Connor ruins everything that we like. It's just It's true. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 55 bits. Uh, Styx, thank you for the eight months of Prime Subbage. Infinite Kitty, thank you for gifting 10 tier one subs to the community. Rand Cossack, thank you for the nine months. Evening uh, officers, uh, here's to nine more months of ice cream, primetime crime prevention, and extraordinarily intimidating cupcakes. Also, a certain ghost lady still needs a hug and an apology, Bryant. <laughs> Man, I'll throw her on the ground. <laughs> And give her I'm some not a sweet, ghost sweet buster. <laughs> Don't cross hey, the everyone. streams on the ground. I'm done. Hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba raided with a party of seventy. How's it going, Gaijin? Hey, we Goomba? know him. We know that guy. I do of know him. him. Wait, is that is... internet celebrity Gaijin Goomba who you can find at twitchtv slash Goomba who I, I also has that hit podcast We Be Talking? It's true. I did a spot-on impression of Gaijin Goomba during my stream you sure today. did. I thought he was here. <laughs> I don't know uh, how he still Extra has Val, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too, Extra Val. And Ooh. finally, Epic Lunch, thank you for the 500 bits. I have some expensive-ass sake tonight. Ooh. Cheers, and may your rolls be 20s, an above-average amount of the time. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> uh, 500. Last... Uh, 20 BMG, thank you for the 500 bits. I ordered uh, the Key and Hunter's Mark Musicians dice for my brother and I. Ooh, nice. I, uh, I, I have something now. in the mail coming from Die Hard Dice, but unfortunately I live in the north where shipping just doesn't exist. I've had I got mine. Food. Queen of yeah, the you, North! You did, and it must be nice, and I'm jealous, but I've gotten <clears> emails from people going, hey, so your stuff is lost in the mail. You don't need that for Christmas, do you? And I'm like, nah. And they're like, okay, cool. And I'm like, <laughs> No, oh, shoot, Hector. Hey, I'll try to get that to you real quick, there. Um, I also am using, but I am using metal dice. I'm sorry, Die Hard Dice, but I, 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 I picked up some official D and D dice that I got from EB Games the other day. So I'm gonna give these. Wait, a try. electronic boutique? <laughs> yeah, shut up. Bosco. Those still oh my exist? god, those are what still around. Fuck? Yeah, in Canada, no. it's not. It's not what? Game Shop here. It's it's EB Games. Yeah. I just flashed back we to the '90s. Oh, it's been yeah. a long. Did you go to the Funko what? Land too? Oh yeah, they have a they have a Funko section. Um, it's like their GameStop orders books again. It's in in, in I don't know. Wow. I can't attest for the eastern part of Canada, but in the west, like at least here in British Columbia, they're all EB games. These so. power dice are so light. I'm just now uh, holding them. These memories. These things... Memories. Uh, yeah, so I picked up some, they had a bunch of D and D stuff. So I actually picked up a few D and D things, and I also got a Digimon. Anyway, let's play D and D. Yay! Yeah, they they re released the original Digimon Nano Pet toys, and you can buy them. It's the 20th year anniversary ones, and you can hey, make fuck yeah. hey, Marty. Marty. Oh, shut Do up. Do you have any brownies? Oh my god, shut up. What? Hey, Ty. Ty. <laughs> no. I'm high. I, I haven't <laughs> decided who does a better Agumon, honestly, you or Xander. Both of us like pride ourselves on our Digimon impressions. We are in love with the show. So anyway, let's 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 D and D now. Dungeon All right. Version. Okay. Dungeons and Digimon. Oh my god, that would be really fun. Yeah. That would be yeah. Fun. That would be, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I cast Pepper Breath. <laughs> Shut up, Bosco. I'll be Patamon. Uh, oh, hi, last <laughs> uh, let me start. <laughs> All right. When last we left our officers, you guys had completed your second case, uh, or technically your third case of the uh, supposedly missing prince. Um, you guys managed to thwart a blood trade operation and managed to make your way home while the orcs, the orc mafia, is to your knowledge, dealing with the troll part of the equation. You guys were able to file away the finalized report, and each of you earned 500 gold pieces for your work. Ooh. So you may add that to your inventory. Update, update. Excellent. Oh, money again. 
Yeah, you guys got money immediately. What do you mean, money? Right? We've got to have money. So, <laughs> Rocco, who was the prince, has registered with you. Um, I can't remember what his last name is. Um, Does he have Modern life? No. You didn't give us a last name. I don't, I don't think, think I did. I, I like the idea he's just Rocco. Like, he's just Rocco. Rocco. Yeah, he's just Rocco. Um, <laughs> oh, you did. Rocco Pekinski. Yeah, that was that. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was Pekin like Polinski or something like that. So yeah, Rocco, Rocco, Rocco Pekinski. I'm gonna get that wrong. Uh, has registered now in the the Prince and Princess registry. Um, he's an older guy. He's like I think around his in the fifties, like like fifty one year old or so. Um, definitely not someone you'd look at and think, oh yeah, you're a prince. It's, it's very schlubby, but um, <laughs> very accommodating. I'm really excited about the whole affair. Um, but he has been fully registered, leaving you guys with a stack of paperwork um, and a lot of loose ends in a strange, strange way. So, you each gave me downtime that you'd like to do. As a week passes, as you guys recoup and recover from the fights that you've had, Bryant and Gibby, oh, shit. you guys left the necromancy ward or the lich ward after a very close encounter with a rather unnatural kind oh, i didn't like it so wait uh is this like right after we've left or wait no this is after we've uh been down at the office a bit yeah we already we yeah. have to fill out paperwork and everything so this is later. i'd say this is uh, occurring a day after you guys are not required to come into work you guys are allowed some you know downtime um so this is the next day after you have all your cell phones you have your companions uh gibby no word from dirds up yet um uh, it's just that thing of like looking at my phone like I could text, but maybe the text is at a bad time, so maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I will instead text Bryant and say, hey, I think we should probably look into this whole potential bad thing those shadowy robot figures might have put on us. Brian will text back, you should probably let everyone else know so they can come with text back um yeah good I well yeah um i'll just like yeah good idea so i'll just go to the group text and be like me and bryant are thinking we need to take care of whatever heebie-jeebie vibes got put on us by that uh veiled person what are they called again i know i wrote it down it's called the procession yeah but i thought they had a more concrete name did I really not write that down Oh well. Yeah, well, I'll send that. They'll get. They'll get my gift. J j j drift. Ugh. You speak for a living. I know. I like peanut butter. I like turtles. I like turtles. I like yes. trains. Text and send. <laughs> okay, texted and sent. The rest of you guys all received that text message in the. I'm gonna say probably 10 a.m. Maybe 10 to 11 a.m. in the morning. I will reply, need any help? Text back, well, if we have to go back into the Lich Ward, I'm not really looking forward to going alone. I mean, Bryant is good company for it, but, you know, more the merrier, I suppose. I'll text Kill back after tennis. Uh, be there in a bit. Gotta make sure Neff is safe and won't get lonely. And Gil will reply, they can tag along on one condition. Lunch, my treat, everyone. Text back, well, if you must. Reply instantly. I must. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Brian's going to text Gibby privately outside of the group chat. You can make whatever deal you want to get rid of your curse, but don't make one on my behalf. It's going to cost double for two. Text back. 
look, I'll try not to, but on the other hand, keep in mind that being self-sacrificing self in this case might not be the best option for the whole team. All I'm saying is don't make one on my behalf. I don't trust this bitch. Oh, I don't either. But right now we're low on options. Text the group again. So we're meeting at my place then? Yes, sure. Why not? <clears throat> I apologize. I'm still got a bit of a cold. <clears throat> I'll text back. Okay. okay, see you guys soon. Kitty, kitty emoji, kitty emoji, kitty emoji. Sorry, so, that's not the one I meant to use. <clears throat> For the sake of brevity, you guys all meet up. And I'm going to say lunch first and then adventure, maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where do you guys want to go for food? Uh, what's Cal? a good place near my apartment? Uh, there's a really nice uh, cafe. Um, it's kind of like a um, like a cake, like cake roll and like bakery meets like just like fancy drinks sort of place. I mean, if Kel's with us, he's really going to want to go there. Above game. I love those kind of places. I've been watching a lot of videos about those kinds of places and I just... Connor can attest I really like oh, yeah. and enamored. <laughs> I will go with your lead because I've never even heard of such a place. Okay. Really? Mm-hmm. Just like a little bakery cafe? Nothing of that sort in my area. Cafe Cafe Cafe-cree. Cafe <laughs> you know what? It didn't have a name, but now it does. <laughs> Hooray! I did something. T TM it, Monty, for when you inevitably inevitably open your own. All right, so you guys make your way inside. It's rather cozy. Um, there's a smell of coffee beans and fresh cream. And you guys sit down, and what would you guys like to order? You said they have just, like, cakes and... They have cake rolls, macaroons, specialty cakes, like actual cake cakes. Do they have breakfast they also sandwiches? Have uh, they don't really do breakfast. It seems kind of more of like a desserty sort of place. Do they got any sort of lunchy items? Um, they have like little sandwiches. Yeah, I'll say they'll have like small sandwiches. Nothing like, you know, big, you know, pastrami on rye, like New Yorker style sandwiches. But they, they got like some some cute little things, like some paninis and things like that. Mm, turkey club panini and three macaroons. Okay. Anything to drink? Diet soda. Okay, and then sorry, I'm just writing down your guys' order. I feel like a waitress. Because <laughs> you're third. All right, Kel, what would you like to get? Or actually, I'll let, I'll let uh, Tannis go next. Uh, Tannis, what, uh, what would you like to get? Tannis will get a matcha latte, a egg sandwich. Okay. And he will pick up a cupcake to go for Nefane. Okay. They actually don't have cupcakes. Um, something, could... something sweet that you would okay. like then. You can get a you can get a cut of uh, roll cake. Yes, I'll get a cut of roll cake then. Okay. Uh, the employee who is an elf kind of packages that up and, and hands it off to you. Uh, Brian, what would you like to get? One coffee okay and one ham sandwich okay Yummy. that's so aggressive uh, this reminds me of <laughs> it reminds me of uh this really good ham sandwich that i had at a place called little o's you now played that right into my hands. Oh, this, this, I was gonna say where I want to go, but it would actually give away my location, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh -oh. But there, there is, there is a soup and sandwich place in my town, which is a small business, and it's so freaking good. And I want to go there, but they've been closed since COVID, <laughs> and it sucks. Anyway, um, Kel, what would you like to get? I'll be honest. The only words that have been said so far that I recognize are sandwich and cake. So, so he'll have one cake sandwich. What, what sort of sandwiches do they have? 
Uh, like just very simple. Like they have a ham sandwich, egg sandwich, and like like what uh, like a turkey sandwich. Like this this is not a sandwich place. This is this is a dessert and drink place. Hmm. Let's go. Never heard of an egg sandwich. Let's go ham sandwich. A ham sandwich. Do they have milkshakes? Oh yeah, they do. They have they have like chocolate smoothies. They have um like different kinds of fruit smoothies as well. So if you wanted to get a chocolate chocolate smoothie, that's definitely like kind of a milkshake. Yes. Okay. I wonder if they do that thing where they okay like, Megatron. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys get your orders. It's very quick and very fast. Uh, you get your Turkey Club panini, which is crispy on the outside. It looks like the panini press has like the um, has like the the logo of this location, uh, which appears to be a a winged cat, which you guys would know as a tressum. Um, and the image is of a of a tressum kind of leaping with the wings out. It's very cute. Um, You're loving attention to food, Monty, is making me hungry. Yeah, still welcome. Waiting to that, like, still waiting on that here. cooking D and D campaign. Yeah, well, welcome to my games. If you came in hungry, that was your mistake. Um, Look, I'm, I'm okay with cooking as long as there's no fucking dogs named Kevin. Are they getting cooked? <laughs> um, you get three macaroons. They're all they're all uh, singly packaged as well. You get one that's orange, one that's purple, and one that's green. Uh, and then you get a diet soda that comes with a really cute like bendy straw, like like the like the silly straws. <laughs> um, like and it. What kind of soda did you want specifically? Like, do you want like a lemonade soda? Do you want like a like something kind of like a Sprite just, equivalent, whatever, like a cola? Whatever diet, whatever diet soda they got. Okay, uh, they do like put a like, a slice of lemon and lime on the edge of the glass, uh, and do. then the matcha latte it comes in a very almost bowl like cup. Um, mm -hmm. It has frothed milk on the top with matcha powder that's been kind of sprinkled on top. The egg sandwich is triangularly cut, no crust. Uh, and looks very light and fluffy. Uh, and the roll cake comes in a, in a package, uh, and it has a similar sort of branding on the side with the with the tressum. Uh, pry it. Your ham sandwich is cut in half. It's kind of a like a on ciabatta bread with uh, crisp lettuce, tomato, thick pieces of probably two different types of ham and like thick cheese. Um, it's cut in half with like a uh, toothpick kind of holding the pieces together. And your coffee is black with. Uh, so, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off here. Here's a cultural difference. In Canada, when you order a coffee, they put the stuff in it for you. So if you want cream or sugar, you actually have to ask first. And I know in America, that's not how you do it. Like you get your coffee and then you have to like put the stuff in. So, no, they, so. it depends on where Some you go. They'll sometimes put it in for you, or they'll give it to you black. But they'll be like, "I want a Starbucks. coffee, like cream and sugar?" Question mark. And you go, "Yes or no?" Yeah. Starbucks sometimes does. Starbucks like, will do that. Dunkin' yeah. Donuts does that. Yeah, it's 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 like everywhere here for the most part. Um, so you get your your black coffee. Shut up! Don't make fun of me. Um, and then uh, Cal, you get the exact same ham sandwich, and then you also get this very tall um glass chocolate smoothie with a long black straw, and there are chunks of chocolate that have been put on top with whipped cream, and there's a chocolate drizzle on top, and you guys have your food. Kills immediately starting on that smoothie. It's really good. It's really creamy, and you can feel the poundage being added to your body as you drink every sip. Brian He's just going to start drinking through. and not stop. Brian is going to pound through that first bite and then sip the coffee. To it's good. His stomach. Really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then take another bite and sip the coffee. And he could taste how good it would normally be. There's just something about it for right now. And then he's gonna What's, swallow and continue. Brian, who are What's Brian, that Brian, goods? Brian, who are you trying to impress exactly? Your mother. I've been waiting for this moment. Well, if you see her, let me know. I haven't seen her since I was born. Sounds like a therapy problem. Would she be impressed by this sort of thing? You know what? Never mind. Hey, Monty. Hi. I suppose this is also a question for Bosco. Can Keller reach over and smack Bryant really hard on the back and cast her move curse? He sure can. Absolutely you can, now that you have oh, that. Oh, good. Thank you for picking up on the seed. I bless you. 
you uh, smack your back on Bryant, and Bryant suddenly, the ciabatta bread is crispy. The ham is savory and sweet at the same time. It mixes so well with the sharpness of the tomato and the crispness and refreshingness of the lettuce. Suddenly, your sandwich tastes good. Amazing, uh, even. I am going to slam the thing down on the table, point at Tannis, and exclaim, Fucking, I told you! I can eat it again! Yeah! I beat it! I beat it. I did it. There are a bunch of patrons at this location, most of which are, like, people on dates or, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of women or working people. And they just kind of all stop and they look towards Brandon. And then, like, the moment they catch your eyes, they all turn back to what they're doing. They're just going, what the hell is that? Okay, just go back I, to their I, work. Uh, type. I look at, look at Kel and then I look back at Brian. You're right, Brian. You sure did it. You successfully yeah. made an ass out of yourself in public again. Yeah, you damn right. That is not, that is the opposite of what I was going to say. Kill has this shakes his head smile on his face right now. I listen, this this hand sandwich <laughs> zero Bryant one. Yes, oh, the ham sandwich oh. was the issue. I laid the smack out on that bread. You stupid. Anyway. Ugh. This is a good day. <laughs> so how are you two feeling, aside from ham? I assume you're talking to me and Bryant? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question, Monty. How do I feel? Do you feel fine physically? Uh, is there a roll I can make? Medicine? Medicine. Boop. While she's oh, rolling that. Oh, there you go. Uh, I mean, you had no nightmares physically. You feel like, I mean, you, you feel sore because you, you had a pretty significant fight and experience yesterday. Um, but you don't really feel anything, but that's also kind of concerning. Um, sort of just nothing. Oh, shit, I envy like, you. Nothing's wrong, but also, hmm. She give me. I did. I used to feel nothing, and then fucking Tannis opened his mouth just now, and now I just feel pissed off and vindicated. Is he still got the sandwich in his mouth? I swallow before I talk. Monty, does he have the sandwich still up to his face? Yeah, he's eating it. He's gonna casually reach over and push the sandwich against his nose. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I don't quite feel normal, but I feel okay, if that makes sense. Hmm. That's... I'm not really one on magic, but... <sighs> magic seems, <laughs> seems insidious. Actually, I guess I, guess I wouldn't do anything, because I had it up before. Would detect magic do anything? Um, probably not, I would say. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, I had to plug in my headphones. They're dying. Uh-oh. All right. I mean, cur cur curses are generally ingrained. Unless it's hollowed ground, I would say, like, it would require not so much detect magic, but, like, um, you know, paladin sort of senses and things like that would probably be able to pick up on stuff like this, but... Ingrained curses, things like lycanthropy, you can't really pick up on either because they're they're just curses. They're kind of an individual thing on their own. I guess I guess Kel's not really getting anything from us. I mean, not in the general sense, nah, not at all. I mean, I don't think well, detect evil and good would do anything either. I don't know if I look at Kel, it's like I don't know if that thing you just did to Bryant would do anything. Though if it worked on Bryant, I guess he'd be better now. What did you say? <sighs> In nothing. Enjoy your sandwich. Oh, it does say you, all Rex. curses affecting one creature or an object are ended. But Monty also ruled that certain curses are too powerful for such a low level spell to affect. Uh, you are right. You're right. Yeah, that's true. I really hate going into the Lich Ward. Above game, it's a plot seed. Let it ride. 
I so know. you're going in to see Lady Odelia. <sighs> she seems like the best option. Unless you've got any other ideas? I am totally open for that, believe me. I don't have a clue. We don't know anyone besides her who really does curses. Question is, what are you doing? What are you going to give to remove a curse that you don't even know what it's doing to you? I don't even know what she'd ask for if we don't know what exactly it is in the first place. You know, this would have been avoided if you just stayed behind the trash can. You, um... you were the one that was caught out in the open. Yeah, it would have been. I my like point to Kel and I'm like, mm -mm. we yeah, tried right, to pull you back in, but you were like a boring headlights. Stop it, Rex. I get it. Shut up. I'm just saying. Next time, watch out for your own skin. Nope. Next time. I will pull you back by any means necessary. We're supposed to be watching out for each other's skin, and that's why we're all here right now. What he said, yes. Mm. If this is going to affect you guys, we need to get it taken care of. Wait, wait. I have scales, not skin. Does that mean none of you are watching out for me? Uh, Rex, why, why just you pat like Kel's back, just like your scales too. Don't worry. Hmm. Don't you have skin under the scales? I don't know. I don't take the scales off. Okay. Well, Do you think your skin off? Yeah, but I know they don't survive the process. I can fix that now. No. No, you can't. You want to bet? Actually, don't nope. bet. I don't want Let's to. not Rex, go test me. Keep your claws yeah, down. Claws down. <laughs> Shall we finish up? All right, you guys <sighs> want to finish up your food? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys finish up your food. The total bill is 45 gold pieces. It's all you, buddy. All right. And you guys are heading to Lich Ward? Woo. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You guys, make your way as you normally would. I'm not going to make you roll a driving check because you're just trying to get to the main district. By the way, uh, Monty, mm -hmm. I have to click back into roll 20. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot. There we go. I apologize. No, you're good. I forgot to do that. So. <clears throat> You guys make your way to the edge of the Lich Ward and proceed forward through the tight alleyways and walking streets. You see Goblin and Drow alike looking at you with confusion, concern, and contempt. Gonna keep walking and ignore them. Fuck yep, them. pretty much. Makes me think word has spread about the procession event. Fuck them. <sighs> Great. Or word doesn't have to spread. They might just be able to sense it. Who the fuck knows? Uh, you guys are Honestly, humans. They they said they seem to have a bias here regardless. Uh, the first time yeah. you came in through as I'm, well. I'm still, listen, if we could talk to the right people, if we just want to nuke the lich ward, like we're not losing a lot. Dude, <laughs> don't advocate nuking a entire ward. <laughs> just this one. <laughs> you say that like Casmodius wouldn't just pick up their corpses and start back again. Oh no, he's he needs to bitch. go too. Like everything in it needs to die. Good luck killing Casmodius. That's, that's the point. <laughs> that it's the necromancy well, word. Think of that. So, I would like anyone in the party to make a survival check to attempt to relocate where Adelia's shop is, Lady Adelia's oh, shop. Oh, who's got the higher survival again? I have three. I have three as well. I if it's a roll that needs to be made on roll 20, I'm probably not going to pass it, so. I'm going to opt for Tannis so I can give him guidance. Yeah. All right. Okay, Let's Tannis, roll with advantage, it. and you have guidance. Excellent. With advantage. Strawberry milkshake. Uh, 
plus. I'm trying a new thing here. <laughs> Just to say random <laughs> shit before I roll. <laughs> uh, plus the 1d4. Probably already succeeded, but the, that's a soft 20 with everything. Okay. Uh, as you proceed and walk through the Lich Ward, um, you, you get some stares, you get some kind of growls, um, general sort of sense of mistrust. Um, but most people tend to leave you alone. As you make your way forward, you begin to see some uh, landmarks that you kind of recognize from your previous excursion into this ward. Eventually, you see the rather out-of-place building, untouched, uh, of Lady Odelia's shop. Let's go in. Okay. As you guys proceed forward, Bryant. Great. You begin to see little things. Um, hanging around on the outside of the building. They're about the size of a grapefruit. They're fuzzy. Um, it's really hard to describe. I'm going to try my best to describe them. Imagine, like, little fuzzy balls um, that have little little rat tails coming out that also have, like, a little fuzzy ball at the end of that, like, slightly smaller. Um, and on the main, bigger, fuzzier ball, they have these two big, almost, like, moth or dragonfly kind of eyes kind of inset into the fur. And there's like a gaggle of them. There's probably about 30 or 40 of them just kind of hanging around outside of the building um, in varying sizes. Um, and they just kind of all meander around a little bit like pests, but um, yeah, they're there and you notice them clearly. I'm gonna try to ignore them. Okay. Just not gonna look at them. Okay. You proceed forward to the door and ignore these small creatures. Ladies first. Yeah. Go ahead, Sarah. I will open the door. Okay. As you open up the door to Lady Odelia's shop. I need everybody to roll initiative. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't even want to know how that Fuck! fight went. We would be dead. Mm. Yeah. Hey, man, it was a good run. And then we would be on sale. Ugh. Scary. Uh, you guys step into the shop. Again, you're hit mm. with that same impact of incense. And you can see the different bemoaning, howling specters caught behind glass cases and boxes. Bryant. Um, the building is, as you remember it, with barely anything moved or touched. But notably, you do hear voices. Um, you hear one very familiar voice in Lady Odelia, and a second voice uh, that sounds like a young woman. Oh, are they having a conversation? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to try and sneak and listen in, or do you guys want to just enter without any... I, I, I'm going to try to listen. Yeah, what do my elf <laughs> yeah. ears hear? All right, uh, everybody roll perception checks for me. <laughs> Roll 20. Hiya. That's a natural one. <laughs> Nine. Oh, no. Soft 21. Okay. Hey, soft 21. Hey. Can we do everything? Mm -hmm. Brian, mm -hmm. as you enter in and you go to listen, you feel something crawling up the inside of your pant leg. Nope. Uh, we're done. <laughs> nope, we're done. I'm leaving. I'm just walking cut, away. You all cut the out. leg off. <laughs> Take the leg. It's useless. I'm going to do the stanky leg to get it off and then walk. All right. As you as you go and you kick your leg out, you watch as one of those little little things from outside just kind of falls out of the pant leg, bounces a couple times, and then kind of reassesses and reorganizes itself, and then looks straight up at you. I'm gonna pull out my sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if it doesn't leave, I'm gonna swing at it. Okay. Roll to hit. It doesn't understand what violence is, so go ahead and roll to hit. To learn today. Uh, I don't have anything. I, I can do it this way. Here we go. It's a 19. Okay, that'll hit. 12. Yeah, it's totally gone. You just eviscerated. It. It's gone. <laughs> Use your... <laughs> and it's while they're listening, Brian will sheath his sword. Okay. Uh, Kel and Gibby, uh, you hear Lady Odelia speaking. Ah, uh, well, this one is... Yes, this one's rather of high quality, but this other one, I mean, it's rather shaky. You could have gotten it better focus, don't you think? You hear the other voice go, I, I suppose so, but we were running down an alleyway. We didn't have a good aim of it. Still, you caught it, just because it was in better shape, or 
my own personal uses. Um, I'd be willing to spare 40 gold for this whole lot, if you'd be willing to oblige. And of course, more film for you for your necessary prosecutions. Very well, I am agreeing to those terms. And that's all you hear. Oh. So someone's making use of the spirit camera. Oh, where are my notes on that thing? God's brain, what the hell was that all about? Yeah, you just stabbed the floor out of nowhere. Target practice. On what? Don't worry about it. <sighs> Guys, let's just, just shake this head. Let's just get up there and get this over with. Hello, Lady Odelia. <laughs> just pop around the corner. I heard you come in. Of course. And just because it's fun, I'm going to share Lady Odelia again. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. what, what if we didn't? Uh, she's so cool. To everyone but cool Brian, she's invisible. Creepy. Yeah, to everybody but Brian, it's just an invisible person. Uh, With a very nice button up. Uh, mm, very nice. Well, 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 well. If it wasn't one of the families, nice to see you again. You seem as tense as ever. Uh, as you step forward, you also see Lady Odelia. Next to her, you see a very young woman. Uh, probably 20s at latest. Um, she's got long kind of like, almost like very, like you can't tell if it's like brown hair or blonde hair. It's kind of, it's very close between the two. Um, it's long, kind of goes way past the shoulders. It's kind of like, um, kind of spiky in a way, like, you know, frazzled up and, and kind of messy. Um, she's wearing a, what looks to be like a toque that comes down on her side of woven uh, yarn. She's wearing a kind of a hoodie with like, it looks like some shirts underneath. Um, she's got like a side bag and just like normal grubby pants, sandals. Um, if, you, if you didn't know any better, she looks like kind of like a hippie tourist, um, but she seems to carry herself well. And, and around her neck is a, is a camera, like an actual like high quality, like um, like thousand dollar camera around her neck. Yeah. Dude, Fatal Fame mm. 3 is a different game than I remember. Oh, I miss those games. And we would know that as a spirit camera, or do we need to roll on that? I mean, you could assume, but you don't know for sure. Okay. Does it look similar to the one that we saw before? Uh, no. This one is definitely way more refined and way better. Got it. You remind the one we originally mm. found. The, the one we found was an older model, but I was wondering if there were any like, hey, we could tell this is an updated version. It's definitely an updated version. This is a very, very high quality updated version. Okay, so safe to assume spirit camera. Got you. Hmm. I suppose our business is done, isn't it? And the woman kind of looks and goes, uh, yes. And she kind of gives a cautionary look towards you guys. Uh, thank you. Um, see you. Gil will wave. Uh, she kind of stops and plays and kind of like, hey, and just keeps walking. Hello, goodbye. Hope you have a good day. Uh, yeah, yeah, you too. Bye. Closes the door. Huh. Well, 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 what, what do I owe the pleasure? Um, um, me and my friend here, I gestured at Bryant, we sort of got caught, might have gotten caught up in another bit of cursing. Oh, you seem to have a habit of this. Uh, yeah. No, wait. Yeah, he does too, actually. Never mind. I suppose the question is, are you thrill-seekers or just idiots? But, well, she kind of hovers. She kind of moves forward. Uh, you watch as she picks up one of the photographs, and she kind of pinches. Like, you know how uh, um, Polaroid photographs kind of have, like, multiple layers of, like, you know, it's not just one picture. It's, like, it's got mm -hmm. multiple layers to the actual thing you watch as she kind of pinches where like the first coating would be and she pulls you guys don't see anything brian you watch as she literally pulls out a shrieking ghost from the photo itself and just puts it into a capsule like she's just ripping it out and it just starts howling and screaming and flailing and she just puts it inside of one of these glass canisters and caps it and slots uh, it onto a shelf all of you will see for no reason at all brian just turn his back to the whole scene I don't feel too bad. These aren't very good spears. Only malicious ones I tend to do this to. 
Defiant and Rude kind of fall into the same tree. Oh. Me. Um. Hmm. So, uh. Do, is there, um. Any way to get these new curses off? <sighs> you watch as she sighs and her entire form just kind of like flattens. It kind of like. You ever see a picture just gets squished down? It just, her entire body just, like, does that. Her face just kind of squishes down really horizontally. She I wish kinda... I could see her face. Yeah, Probably you don't see like it. looks like a shirt just going, put. It looks like the shirt's slouching, but, but Bryant, you see her whole body just kind of, like, flatten, and she strides forward, and she kind of, you feel the, uh, the, the nail kind of extensions that she has, like, those, that, that sort of finger armor kind of cup your face, Gibby as she kind of stares into you. You don't see any eyes, of course, but you just stare into an invisible nothingness as your head is being cut. Oh, you had a nice, lovely run-in with a procession, didn't you? Mm. Lovely is one way to put it. Well, I have good news and bad news. Great. Bad news? Oh, we'll get to the bad news after the good news. The good news is it's not going to kill you. Okay. The bad news is if you die, well, you're not coming back, and you're not going where you think you're going. Awesome. Um, is there a way to get rid of it? Yes, there is. But, my goodness, I'm not really in the business for doing favors right now. Well, I wasn't necessarily asking for a favor. Yeah, there's two ways you can do it, monetary or non-monetary, and you do seem to have as much as a- you run into some bad luck, you do seem to have some strength under there. And she kind of, like, rasps the- your- your forehead with the back of her knuckle. So, monetarily? How much? Monetarily. A thousand for each of you. Hmm. I mean, I'd have to get- help from the others to get that but I might be able to pull it off actually non-monetary there is a particular beastie I'd like to get you know ugh, and she just kind of rasps uh, one of the claws like literally like strikes it through her neck but she's a ghost so it doesn't matter it just kind of you know fades through um, if that's something that you're more interested in like a you mean hunt it for you Yes, hunt and kill it. Maybe even put it in a canister for me. Um, how dare you? Calm now, don't look so twisted and sick. It's not like I'm going to send you to something innocent. How dangerous is it? I'd say it's reasonably dangerous, but nothing you couldn't handle. Uh, turn and look at Bryant. What do you think? I'm surprised you're not jumping on the opportunity. You seem to hate us so much. I'd be more excited if I got to take you out. Take you back. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that you nor no other could do such a blessing to me. Well. I at least take solace that there's fates worse than death. Hopefully that's your curse. <laughs> I'll uh, look at Kel and, Kel and uh, Tannis being like, well, we probably need your help on this, so what do you say? <sighs> Above game, I will say, I don't know how, mo how much Bryant is holding. I have 729 gold. I will say this right now, Gibby. Bryant can help you pay and get the curse off of you, and then we just take that. Yeah, but then you still have the curse. Yeah, but uh, based on we have to if we have to fight this thing to get the curse off of even one of us, then there's no point in even paying at all. We may as well just go get this thing. Well, we can pay one now and pay one later and not have to deal with fighting anything. I mean, but game besides since this sounds like a side quest, I would really hope none of us would die to a side quest. You say that? Knock Indeed. on wood. Roll twenty, please but, don't screw me. Uh, Monty, for clarification, or me. This uh, hunting quest she has. Would that remove the curse from both of them or just one of them? Both of them. Two for one special. Kel is going to quietly, subtly raise his mace with one hand. If that's what it takes to get you guys back in fighting shape, then good. We'll do it. And I'll give you. I'll give and you to some... clarify. This would be mm -hmm. for both of us. Yes, of course. 
Thank you. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, you're fine. I will give you something too, because if you were to die, given the nature of your curse, you would write you would go right to Casmodius. You would not go anywhere else but there. And as your friend, Mr. Bryant, has stated, it is a fate worse than death. So you watch as she snaps her fingers uh, and she procures these um, like stones. They're like almost like donut shaped. They are but, like the, the center is actually like open uh, and it's a rounded stone. And she hands one off to you, Gibby. Wear this around your neck. If something were to happen, at least I could catch you maybe before you fall. Same with you. She tosses it towards you, Bryant. Maybe. Uh, you don't, have, you don't happen to have any string, do you? Oh, yes, I do. Hold on. You watch as she steps into the back. Leaving you guys alone in the store with the bewailing souls. Well, the wailing souls only Brian can hear, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just like, well, this music's nice. <laughs> this will kill both of you. I'm all for this. I don't necessarily like the idea of hunting down and killing something, but if oh. it's malevolent, I guess I can live with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take her at her word that. Tannis, all this shit creature. should be dead anyway. You're just putting it back in the fucking ground. You watch. Great. You watch as she returns with a with a spool of kind of black waxy thread. Will this I do, will... darling? She kind of slides it towards you. I think so. I'll take some of it and kind of get it into the stone she gave me and so I can wear it around my neck. Good. I'm in no particular rush, but if you are, then I suppose it's up to you whether or not you want to get this done. There's an old opera house. It exists in the Devil Demon Ward. Not even the orcs want to go in there. It freaks them out. So I highly recommend checking it out. You'll find a creature there. Um, anything we should know about this creature that might help us take it down? It's undead, and maybe don't look at it too close. Mm. Petrification, don't look at it? More like if you look at it, it'll kill you. Okay. Hmm. Just well, the one. It's only one. If we look at it, it'll kill us. That is, uh... Hmm. Could we see it in a mirror? Hmm, I think that would probably work. If you're curious as to what this creature is, it's called a bodak. A bodak? <sighs> God. A bodak, yeah. Would... It could we Great. roll on something to know what that is? I'm, I, I hear somebody in this. I think it's Ed that's doing it. I assume he already knows what roll, this thing is. Uh, but roll, in game, roll a religion or I guess Arcana of your choice. Both. Uh, Actually, nice, they're both good. Nine. Hiya. Hiya. Nice. Nat twenty. Two. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> also, apologies if I ever cut out mid-sentence. Discord's freezing on me for some reason. Oh, weird. That okay. Weird. Oh, that is weird. Yeah. Ed, you gonna roll? On um, this natural twenty. Bodax are uh, essentially. Oh God. Uh, Bodax are the undead re uh, remains of someone um, who basically is devoid of every single aspect of life and even a soul. They literally are husks that exist only to cause and create death. Um, they basically have vowed to a very evil creature, um, and they their entire purpose and existence is to just spread death in the name of that creature. Um, particularly Bodax, uh, they retain a vague impression of their past life, but it will seek out allies and enemies and will just straight up just devour and, des and destroy them. Um, and will attempt to erase everything that's related to itself. <sighs> uh, I would say because of the natural 20, mm -hmm. you would know that they uh, they hate sunlight more than anything. They actually die to sunlight. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I will relate that all to the team. 
No, you seem to have some history of such creatures. I've heard that in small human towns, they tell little tales and horror stories about them, which is rather entertaining. And they can kill you with a look? Oh, yes, they can. They call it the death gaze. At a nasty thing. I'm going to look at Tannis and uh, Cal again and be like, are you guys sure you want to do this? A face so terrifying, it sucks the very life out of your body. Rather thrilling when you think about it. I don't spook easy. I'm fine with it. <sighs> Alright. Uh, actually, above game, second question. Do we want to go to that now, or save it for later? Because actually, because I, I haven't gotten with you, Monty, and done, done some new spells. Oh, we never did your new spells, did we? Yeah. Oh, shit. Who were we supposed to? It's been such a crazy week. I know. It's been yeah, a wild were. week. We it were. Was like the last, it was like the last week of insanity. You, know, you, don't, you don't get a lot, you, but it's you still don't, good for I now. got you, fam. You do not need to do this now. This is just an optional thing you guys can do in another session. But for now, if you are to die, like if you are to be reduced to zero hit points and just straight up die... Because you saw Adelia, instead of going to, to Kasmodius and that's the end uh now you'll get caught by um well, she only gave well she said she said maybe is that like a slip well, of the tongue only, or is it like a, there's a chance me and bryant what about yeah, it's only for you and, and bryant well but they're not cursed um, the curse is they're not doing. cursed yeah the curse yeah. the curse basically means that if you would if you're reduced to zero hit points and someone were say to use revivify on you you would not come back to life you're just done Ah, that answers so, one of my questions. Yeah, that's what that is. It's a pretty bad, nasty thing. I do have another question, Monty. Mm hmm I don't suppose the spell daylight counts as sunlight, does it? It does. Let's save this for another session so I can have that prepared. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yay! Hooray! Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, God! The thought of it is just making me panic right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. <sighs> Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you, Lady Odelia. We'll um try and get on that soon. Certainly. Mr. Bryant. Bryant will turn his head. Whatever preconceived notions you have of my existence or my being, know that we agree in one thing. That all things great and small must die. The world must be allowed to die. You first. I wish I could. Truly, I do. But until the end comes for all, I must be the last. What are you, the fucking Grim Reaper? Mm, something of that sort, I'm sure. But for now, I'm an ally, and I'm willing to catch you when you fall. You could at least act like I'm not spitting in your sandwich. Are, are you saying you're more powerful than... Asmodeus? Do not say his name to me! You watch as the, your entire body flares around Gibby, but Gibby, you don't see shit, but you just hear a voice just boom out in this space. I'm sorry. He is the opposite to what I exist as. He's the thing I am, the antagonist to my existence. Yeah, you're trying to kill shit and he's trying to keep it alive. I get it. Exactly. So. I want to go now. <laughs> That's above game. It'd be funny if I actually squeaked out like that. But now, allies. And if I were you, I'd be smart to keep me on your side rather than his. Casmodius doesn't like to keep friends. Your bloodline is an attestament to that, Mr. Bryant. Well, I don't think I have to worry about you hooking up with him. Not after that outburst. If I had skin, it would crawl. All right, get out of my store. And good luck. <laughs> also, you're looking for the Swan Tail Opera Theater. It's in the Devil Demon Ward. You can't miss it. Oop, gotta write that down. Swan you know, if we're, uh, if we're supposed to be allies, I got a counterproposal for you. I'm always interested in business, Mr. Bryant. I'll put a down payment on Gibby's cure if you cure her now. And I'll pick it up when I come back with the head of whatever the fuck you want us to kill. Bryant. Hmm. 
You said you might be able to catch our souls. I'm not going to damn hers with mine. You cure her now, I'll leave you some money. When I bring you back the head, I'll get mine and the money back. Uh, above game, I again want to point out, with 700 gold between Kel and Tannis, we might just be able to pay for us both. Well, I'm willing to put down a down payment to get you cured immediately, and then we get the money back when we come back to get the... Because they she knows we have to come back anyway. Well, so if it's the because get you safe right now. Basically, I can get the curse off of you now, and if we put down a down payment, it's like collateral of like, hey, this is a show of good faith. We're not well, going anywhere. Saying, between the four of us, do we not have 2,000 gold? We do, but what yeah. they're saying is we can also save that money if we just do this. And honestly, it, it makes sense for us to do this because we don't have a ton of money. But if we put down the down payment, Brian can get you cured. That way you don't have to worry about anything. And if the worst happens, we don't have to worry about her maybe catching us. Or at least catching you. I don't Because there's not a guarantee. She can't guarantee it. Exactly. So if we can get you cured, then all you got to worry about is whether or not Brian makes it, which honestly, he's willing to take that risk. You're tanky. Yeah, too. Yeah, you're a lot tanky. He, he's seen yeah, how things like to go after you. He's not willing to just leave it to chance. I'm just going to step to I was like, Brian, I'm not okay with this. I don't give a shit. I didn't ask you. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a choice on whether or not I want to get uncursed or not. And are you actually going to say no? <sighs> I didn't think so. It's not... Brian's going to take out the 500 gold that he got from his work week and put it down. Okay. You slap it down. It's half you, watch Lady... you watch as Lady Odelia strides over and kind of leans forward. I must ask you something rather personal. I can be a little bit of a burr under the saddle, but I have a genuine curiosity about you and the way that you carry yourself. I'm listening. Are you afraid? Of? What you are, what you're capable of doing. Does it keep you up at night? Does it haunt you in your steps and walking hours? No, things like you haunt me and scare me. I'm just really good at hiding it. That will destroy you before anything that you fear can. Apologies, I have a cat ghost in that case, <laughs> and it's very loud. Wait, Fine. Would that be a uh, tenth life? I thought they only had nine. They're cheaters is what they are. Anyway. Yes, they are. Somebody draw me a ghost goblin. I will be right back. You watch as she disappears behind, and she comes back with a set of gold and silver scissors. God, I'm a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always when I'm Lady Adelia you need to come by and scream? Just Can her ghost cat attention. be on her shoulder, Monty? Can you describe the ghost cat? No. Anyway. Yeah, it, it's kind of wrinkly. It doesn't have a lot of fur on it. It looks like it's slightly decayed. All right, dear, come here. You watch as she kind of curls two fingers forward, just kind of to coax you forward. I just look at Bryant one more time, be like, fine. All right, you guys watch as Bryant, you see this. You watch as, similar to the, the, the photo, how she kind of like gently picked and pulled out the ghost from the photo. You watch as she kind of like puts just right in the center of Gibby's forehead, just right smack dab in the center. You watch as she like pokes and it, and it hurts Gibby, uh, eventually to the point that she pokes so hard that it actually like punctures the skin and there's a little bead of blood that pops out. And you watch as the moment that happens, Lady Odelia, almost like a person working on a spinning wheel, kind of curls her finger and you watch as she catches a thread that seems to be connected to Gibby from the forehead and just expands out through walls and just disappears out of sight. You watch, she takes that and she pulls it taut and it hurts Gibby, like you feel kind of sick. And she takes those scissors and just snaps the string. And you watch as the scissors just shatter into pieces and the string is gone. Yeah, I've severed your tie to Chasmodeus. Your soul is your own. Does he ever notice this sort of thing? 
He does, and he gets bothered, but he can't really do anything about me, so he can suck a fat one. <laughs> okay. I turn to Bryant, and I say, when this fight comes, you get behind me this time. I'm going to okay. nod to Lady Odelia, say thank you, and walk out. Brian is going to take a minute to process what he just heard. And then he's going to turn. He's going to turn to Lady O. I guess for what it's worth, thank you. Of course. And then Brian's going to walk out after her. Uh, Kel and Tannis, before you guys turn up. You two. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Selflessness and stu stupidity walk a very, very similar path. Be sure these fools don't get themselves killed. They're nice enough. I'd rather not see them where they shouldn't be, in a state that they should not be in. Do I make sense? I'm not allowed, about to let any of my team die. Good. And you? I feel much the same way. I will do all in my power to keep them among the living. What time they deserve to have on this mortal earth. Farewell. And she steps back to her counter. Goodbye. Go away. And while they, they while out. they're inside, I'm gonna grab Gibby real quick. Not like physically, but like go to talk oh. to her before they come out. Listen, Gibby, I appreciate the sentiment, but we both know that's not gonna work. <laughs> Between the two of us now, if I get hurt worse. I'm the one who gets to come back. This yeah, isn't about I... being selfish. This is about not having you potentially go to a really bad place. This is about what we're better at, and I'm better up close. Like I said, I appreciate the sentiment, but it's not the smart play from a strategic standpoint. We'll see. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to be stupid about it. I'm just saying. Okay. Look, you're a good kid, Gibby. All right, you don't. Kid, I'm your. Shit. I'm practically your age, Brian. It's a whatever. I'm gonna give him a light punch on the shoulder. If that's how hard you hit, then I definitely need to be up front. Okay, I'm going to hit you so much harder if you don't stop. As long as you don't use any bolts of lightning on me. Uh, we'll see. Let's we'll just... wait for the other. We'll wait for the other two to come out, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Tana, Skell, you guys leave without any other increase? Yep. There's nothing else to do there, so yes. Yeah. Alright, you guys exit out. For the sake of brevity, you guys leave the Lich Schwartz so you can have a comfortable mm -hmm. conversation. I'll say you guys meet up at a park. A nice park in the Central Ward. Yeah. Nice park in the Central Ward. Uh, what? Oh, go ahead. There you go. Sorry, just trying to find the right. There you go. While we're walking, uh, Bryant's again going to turn to Gibby, although I assume the other two are with us. Yeah. Gibby, can I ask you a question? And you don't have to answer around everybody if you don't want to. I guess it depends on the question. Y you're not going to like it. I'm just going to be up front with you. <laughs> Do I reserve the right to hit you again? As long as there's no lightning involved. <laughs> All right. What do you see in Durzim? Uh, he's... Honest in a way that I can't really explain. And if you don't get it, you won't get it. And I mean, there's stuff I do need to discuss with him. But... I don't know. I... I had a... I had a boyfriend. You know, back in the town I used to be in, and it was more a sense of I had one than a sense that I really liked him. And he was just another symptom of the sort of life I led where I was sort of waiting for things to happen, waiting for that moment where I'd be like, this, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, right? This is when I catch up with the rest of my family, catch up with what 
I'm supposed to be doing. And that, of course, ended when everything went haywire and I was <sighs> causing chaos left and right. And everything is so strange and wild and crazy here. <laughs> wild and crazy guys. No, I'm not going to say that. Um, and weirdly enough, he is one of the most honest people I've met in my life. Compared to where I came from. He's not... BSing or bullshitting or hiding with signs some veneer of well proper things and things how they be. I don't I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind no, of how I get I feel. it. You appreciate that he's straightforward, but I think that's kind of the problem. Look, it, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. Like you're an independent woman, you do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just I don't get it. Is what I'm trying to say. I mean, he kidnaps Tannis's daughter. And sure, maybe he can try to apologize for it, and I don't want to speak for Tannis, but fuck that. You don't get to just say I'm sorry to that. No. That's Not true. to mention the last person that he loved disappeared. Not with us anymore. Is that because of his crime shit? And he's still in the mob. You're a cop. You don't think that's going to be a problem? I mean, has he ever thought that maybe he could just walk away from that if he cares so damn much? Retire, maybe? Live a normal life? That's not how it works. No, it's not, which is why this doesn't seem like it's going to work. In terms of you are also the last being fair. In terms of the last lady he was involved with, uh, look, I I have that story, and that is not my story to tell to anyone else. But suffice to say that again, at the moment I've done the thing where I've, I've said, as I said, I've done the thing where I've been waiting for things to start planning, you know, needing it to be this way now, this way now. And for now, I just, I want to see how it goes. And don't get me wrong. There might become, there might become a point where I talk to the, about these things with him and there comes a breaking point where it's like, no, I can't overlook that. You know, things that maybe but I'm not gonna tell him how to live his life either. And if that's something we need to part over, we will come to that. For now, I'm going to say that I'm open to seeing where it's gonna go. All right. I just wanted to let you know that I was worried about you, that's all. I will very slowly do a soft, Missile style punch, just like that, <laughs> at his cheek, very gently and very slowly, like you know, like like one of those Star Trek missiles, you know, just. Mm, Brian will that. still sell it. He'll still. Brian, you take again. sixty-seven points of luck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I well, said lady, sell it. I'm not even say Sean Michaels lady, sell it. Jesus oh, Christ! Lady Odelia, Lady Odelia, like catches his soul. Like, really? What the heck happened? <laughs> How the? <laughs> You made a paper mache and spit? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you made out of peas and tissue paper. <laughs> uh, at this point, it's probably like, I'm going to say like 6 or 7 p.m. at night. Uh, so we're at the park now? Mm -hmm. So we're at the uh, park. Tannis, here. you get That's a text me. message. Yeah, you get a text message. Right, open it up. From Jericho. Oh. Break the walls to <laughs> He says, talk to my boss. Have the next four days to work, but fourth day I have off. Wanna meet up then? Question mark. Sounds good. What do you like to eat? <laughs> he responds with well, you paying? Sure. He responds immediately with something expensive then. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> All right, fine. The most ex the most expensive vegan steak it is then. <laughs> he responds with as long as it's not seafood, I'm good for anything. I send him I send him the uh, the smiling sunglasses emoji. He responds with, bring Nefine too. It's been a while since I've seen her. Will do. She wants to, 
She wants to see her uncle after so many decades. He responds with, is, he, is she even a decade old yet? Feels like that's the last time I saw you. He responds with, sorry, bro. I'll make up for it. This job is kind of stressful and really demanding. Trust me, I know. Been there, done that. Okay. So, is there anything else you guys want to do this night, or are you guys good to part ways and go home and relax? Uh, uh, I just want to pop in a magic store if I could find one. I just want to check something. Okay. Ugh. Um... Mm, I yeah, look the, at the, the other thing I want to do, I feel like I need a day for, and I don't feel like doing it. Or if you want, it could be a quick arc, uh, arcane search on a phone, like a Google search of like, hey, I wonder what yeah. this Yeah, I, I would look it up. I'd say do an arcana check for me and just see, because okay. that, that is kind of a specialist item, and magic shops in particular are very hard to find. Yeah, that's why it's I was like, of, I don't... It's kind of one of those shops where you need to know somebody who knows where to go for that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, it's not like, it's not like, you know... Uh, 14 Arcana. 14 Arcana. Um, you see, like, um, EBID prices that are, like, gouged out the wazoo for those. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really find anywhere in particular that sells them in town, though. What's he um, looking for again? He's looking for a I'm specific looking... magical item. Ah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, you might want to talk to maybe someone who is a wizard or has some sort of ties to something like that that might be able to help you. Okay. Alright, we'll you guys mind. you guys head home for the night? Yeah. Yeah. Um okay. before the next day starts though, um, is there like a like a like a heavily forested park? Oh yeah. Um Is it is it open to the public at oh, all yeah. times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is. Um then at night. Um <laughs> Uh, Tannis is going to go to the park alone uh, while after Nefane goes to sleep. And yeah, she starts he's to meditate. Going, he's going to look up at all the trees and he's just going to climb one and start jumping from branch to branch. Okay. Uh, roll just an acrobatics check for me. Oh boy. Acrobatics check. Remember, keep Coming your arms in. behind you. 18. Okay. You do. You jump You jump tree to tree. You're trying to do this stealthily because there are people here still. <laughs> um, I, well, I, I'd go away from as many people as possible while doing this. I don't want to disturb anybody, but so yes, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to do this stealthily. Okay, roll a stealth check for me. 18. Okay. Shit, I almost drank my wax again. <laughs> Connor. I can't, no. I keep doing it. <laughs> uh, as you're jumping tree to tree, you do this for a decent amount of time, but then you suddenly hear the galloping of hooves. And you hear someone yelling, hey, hey. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to like throw my hood up and just bolt as fast as I can away. Okay. Uh, as you look down, you see a centaur officer currently galloping after you as you jump tree to tree. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to cheese it as fast as I possibly can. Okay. Blowing, I'm at, blowing key points if I can. Uh, roll an acrobatics check for me as you're jumping. Because the moment you hit the ground, the centaur is 100% going to catch up with you regardless of key points. They're, they're charging after you. I, I do have 90 move speeds. They're a horse. They win. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Acrobatics check. Yeah. Uh, 23. Okay. Uh, eventually you reach the end of the tree line and you're like, shit. And you see a city building and you just like, like, um, free runner style, like mirrors edge style, just like jump onto a crane. That's kind of holding up like some wooden panels, probably for, for building, building structures and stuff. You kind of counterweight it. So it leans up towards the building and you run all the way up and jump to the skyscraper as the center kind of reaches it goes, you come back. He's kind of whistling down on the on the whistle and calling out to you as you're you're like you've reached the top of the skyscraper. I'll shout back down to him. Have a nice night, officer. And then I'll run back to my apartment. Requesting backup, and then he kind of like calls in backup. <laughs> it's gonna be real funny when you run into that guy at the office. Um, <laughs> he, he won't know. 
Um, go ahead for me and roll a... I'm going to say roll a perception check for me real fast. Perception, not great. 12. No. Um, as you're running, you kind of jump to another building and run past, and you can't help but feel for a second two glowing orange eyes stare at you, and as you kind of stop to turn back, you don't see anything else there. <sighs> okay. All right, nice. I keep booking it. All right, you make your way eventually to your apartment. I'll, I'll, I'll lock the door. I'll, I'll toss my, my coat down. I'm not wearing my usual coat. I'm, I'm wearing like a hoodie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not in. That would be easily recognizable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. He just, he just leans up against the door. A little smile crawls across his face. Fun. Does anybody else have anything else they want to do before they go to sleep? I do. Okay. What would you like to do, Cal? May I cast sending? <laughs> as as your DM, I have to say yes. But as your friend, I want to say no. But I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before he does this, because mine's just real short. Um, can I just check my phone to see if Durzip's got in touch? No text messages, no. All right, I didn't, I didn't think you did. Ar uh, Arkoff, continue. I'd like to cast sending to one Michael Bryant. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the message is just, in your head, in your in head. In your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fighting. I was gonna, With I, I your thought, trains and their bombs and their I thought, bombs. I thought it was going to be like, yeah. I thought it was going to be like, <laughs> I wanted it to feel like that thing in DVD and Bridge where it's just like I hear I voices end. in my head. They call me. You. You. That's not me. All right, what do you I'm say? writing everything you're saying down for future reference. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you saying? You have twenty. Say... I think you have twenty-five words, right? It's twenty-five or twenty-four. Yep, twenty-five. Twenty-five words. You have twenty-five words. So. Hello, Michael. I'm in your head. <laughs> you should eat ice cream and rest well. Goodbye. So, you remember we talked about Arkov, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, as you get to the part about ice, all of a sudden, you can't tell why, you hear a... <clears throat> like a phone just hung up on you. I'm sorry, you'll have to say that again in Discord. For oh, zombie. no worries. I said you hear, as you get to around the word ice, you hear a phone sound go, k -k <laughs> like it hung up. <laughs> <laughs> you hung up on me? How do you even do that? <laughs> Can I come I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the DBZA thing again, where it's, where it's like, that's exactly it. Just kill me. Hug up on me. How did you hug up? So above game, Arkov knows how I did that. In game, I'm gonna wait for them to figure it out. I just want Brian to fake his own internal brain answering machine, and Kel just like, I know you're there. I said beep. I said beep. If I had another cast, yes, I only have two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys head to bed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. okay. You guys head to bed. In the morning. Actually, you know what? This will probably be a perfect place to take a break. Let's take a break. And then we'll All be right. Oh, my morning. God, I got to pee so bad. Hang on. I'll be back. I'm going to get a, a banana. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. My headphones are still dying and they're still beeping. So like every every like I, I hear them. You, do you hear it? Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. It's really loud and obnoxious. I I, I forgot to plug them in before going to bed last night, which was so just plug them in now. You can, can you I, plug I them in and still use them? Yeah, I plugged them in now, but they're still beeping. They still beep when they're low. That's low, weird. Low. Are they oh, charging weird. though? Yeah, they're charging. It'll go All away right. eventually. It just Ugh. well, go go get water. Stretch your, stretch your legs. Fuck. 
I don't have any pants. Don't like disco, it's freezing on me. I don't have any bananas. Oh, at least you didn't have any pants. And I was like, what? Disco Sorry is to hear freezing that. on my end because Windows is maxing out my hard drive in the background sometimes. That's oh, weird. is it still doing that? It's occasional. It seems to be doing something called uh, NTFS volume log shadow copy. Probably data backup or something. Probably a data backup. How was that? I have no control over it, so I'm going to eventually try to reinstall Discord on one of my other drives. One of the other drives, that makes sense. Uh, so really Kitsumi nice. Kazuka with 100 bits saying, whoops. Thanks for the stream so far, guys. So happy to have something to distract myself. As the year ended on a sad note for me and my family, I appreciate you wholesome noodles. Thank you. And Blackfoot Farrah, thank you for the heart bits. Much appreciated. Welcome into the Edward Bosco Halftime Show. I am your host, Edward Bosco. We appreciate all of you for choosing to spend your Saturday evening with us. It's always appreciated. Uh, a vegan fan with a hundred bits saying, how did he do that? I need to know so I can mess with my players. You'll see. Ugh. Uh, parsnips dandy. I see your message. I'm not going to read that. Screw you. You know what you did, and you should feel bad. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah, yeah, no, no. It's the Bosco show. <laughs> That's... Uh, all that soda went what, right to my weak girl bladder. That was a sentence that you just said? Oh, soda yeah. is very, very good for you. It well isn't. That's why I don't drink caffeine every other day at and least it's good for the soul <sighs> wait why am i speaking in kale's voice i, I have no idea why you just did that it's like, wait a minute <laughs> i think i got stuck for a moment uh i have no fog where i am but i also haven't looked out my window so Ooh, no. that's fog's always very atmospheric like silent it is very silent hill e <sighs> you mean the oh. edward bosco who tomorrow will be yeah. signing uh, Hasbro prints that you could purchase at streamly.com slash Edward Bosco. Yes, Citric, that one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the Give me. Him money that's me. for his signature. You it's true. Nine. Yeah, I've got, uh, I think I'm in the, the 550s and I got about 900. Good. People should support you. I, well, sh <laughs> people should support you too. <laughs> nope. By the way, the more, if you, uh, every print that you buy, a portion of that will be going to Arkov's event. No. You can't stop me. We've I mean, been over this before. I very much can. You can, yeah, but you won't I mean, because we've can. also been over this and you won't. Ugh. I gave you a heads up that this was going to happen and you were like, I don't have to like it, which is true. You don't have to like it, but you do have to let it happen. A uh, hundred bits from like tuba. <laughs> Like uh, 100 bits saying, hey, just a quick question for clarification. I know you guys are taking a week-long break for Christmas, which I'm totally okay with, but I was curious about your plans for your personal stream channels as well, just so we know for sure. I will be streaming both on Christmas Day and New Year's Day because I have a wrestling stream that I do at around 5 o'clock PST, so I'll still be streaming for the holidays. Also because this is kind of a really unique year where a lot of people aren't going to be going home, or at least you shouldn't be going home because it's not safe. PSA right there. So a lot of people are just going to be stuck in their house. So I just want to give people the opportunity to watch something. So, yeah. I will also be streaming on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because I've literally got nothing better to do. Yeah. Honestly, we should do a Halo stream one of those days. I, you want to do Halo on the Unexpectables Day? Sure. Because honestly, because then I could do Shiro's thing on Tuesday and I could do, we could do Halo on Wednesday since there's no yeah, expectable. Because you're really interested in that I so I game. So it's the same guy who made 999, which I really like that game. And I really like this one. Murder Mysteries are a guilty pleasure. I really need to pick up that game as well. I've been looking at it for the longest fucking time. But seeing on Shiro's stream, it seems well worth the buy. It, yeah, it's, again, I love 999. If any of you guys are playing uh, 999 or any of the, the Zero Escape games... 
they're really good. But the same guy who who wrote those also made this game that we're playing through right now. So I think it's called AI play. Somnia. AI the Somnium <laughs> Files. The Somnium Files. That's what it's called. Uh, no, Oathbreaker. Uh, Oathbreaker with 100 bits. Hey, Bryant. How's the good boy Kobe? And also, you guys deserve a break. You guys work so hard to do all this and all. I'm so glad I have a fucking basilisk as a pet. So badass. This coming Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It'd be the 23rd. Keep that in mind, chat. If you want to see Bosco suffer through Halo 4 with me. It's true. Come check us out on twitch.tv slash Arkov. Oh, no. There are so many different explosives in that game. Oh, yeah. You're fucked. By the way, go to twitch.tv slash Arkov to see... What happens when Arkov just can't get out of the way of a Wraith Blast? Constantly. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, Constable Mutton, uh, Iba is easily my favorite character from any of those games, and that's not an easy choice. 100 bits. I realize that Date is just like anime Bryant, and it kills yes, me. Yes, he is. Because I was like, oh, no, they're not. And then I was like, oh, wait, but there's the little kid that he has to look after who's, like, got the superhuman abilities and took them away from their parents. Like, ah! Is anime Bryant, but also a pervert. But also a pervert. Well, to so, be fair, if he was anime, anime Bryant, Bryant, Bryant would have been nice to that little fairy dragon instead of breaking his That's not even heart. remotely true. He's nice to the kid that he's close to, but he's not nice to just kids in general. You could have had a little dragon newsy as your little friend. That's true. I haven't seen Zobi since the the last paper I got. <laughs> you have to bite concerned. You. Yeah, I'm not concerned. It's just that it is what it is. I'm eating nuts. I have water. Nuts. nuts. So if any of you have played that game and you know who Date is, then you absolutely know that it's very much Michael Bryant. Not intentionally because it happened afterwards, but Dante, also, Date's Dante's not as abrasive. Thing. That's that's the trade-off. Is Brian super abrasive, but Date's a super pervert because Japan? Mm -hmm. So yeah, there we go. So how do you feel uh, about shooting a gun into a pipe? Yeah, that was I was so angry. I <laughs> I have not because at least in the Matrix, I understood why everything was happening. But for that, I was like, wait. So you have the ability to walk away. Even though he said, if you take any steps, I'm going to shoot this person. So you're able to walk away and throw the pipe. Like, he can't see you throw the pipe, which would be an offensive action where he would shoot the girl. <laughs> then you shoot the pipe. And it's like, but, but. Uh. Bangalangs, thank you for the 400 bits. Zobi did nothing wrong. I will agree with that, but we must also agree that Kevin did everything wrong. Monty, are you ready to go? Hi, I'm here. Oh, okay. Is everybody back? I think so. Hi, Let's go. Go. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. So, I was going to eat my mochi, but I guess not now. <laughs> oh, sorry, Monty has mochi. Car. Let's just pause no, everything. I'll, 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 I'll eat, eat some more we... bits. You'll have, you'll let have us, just let us role play and you can eat your mochi. Yeah, I was going to say, while well, you guys are role playing, you guys can, uh, I can eat the mochi. Um, all right. So, as the morning dawns on all of you, you feel sore but rested. Um, and... Uh, who has Costumeyer's phone number? I do. I do. I think we all do. I think you guys all do. I think we all do. But Certainly. she'd yeah. be more likely to talk to Tannis. You would think Tannis so, but man. anyone who has Costumeyer's number, first thing in the morning messages, are you alive and are you all right? She does this yes. to all of us? Why? All of you guys. Um. Yes. Why? And reply. Yes. Are you? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh Tannis, as you kind of like are like looking over the cell phone, you hear uh you hear <laughs> Nefane go, I'm going to school. Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetie. And the door yeah, closes. And you hear it open and go, Dad, can you get more mice? Yes. Sure Thank thing. You. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Uh you guys all respond to the text? Yeah. I'm just like, yes, why? Go look at the news right now. Especially you, Gibby. Oh, goody. Huh? Okay. Uh, turn, turn on, on the TV. TV. All right. We'll turn on his rickety old TV. 
<laughs> it's got rabbit ears and everything. Yes. Got oh my god. Side. Gotta make sure you click it to the right channel. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this one's not in color. Ah, there we go. So, as you guys look on the TV, there's a breaking news report. How convenient. <laughs> really? Oh, man. Well, it's not breaking also, news. Brian's text back will be like, no, they got me. Thanks for your concern. I'm actually, to be fair, we could have just looked at this world, Come to my funeral. world equivalent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure you say nice things at the eulogy. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, this would be trending on whatever this world's equivalent of, equivalent of Twitter is, so we could have looked there, too. There is no Twitter, Twitter in this Wait world, and I made that decision. No, oh, fair enough. Thank God. <laughs> That's what sending's for. Unless it's not. So, as you guys turn on the TV, there's a, a news report. Um, notably, you see aerial footage. Um, it's it's really funny, because you would expect, like, a helicopter, but it appears to be a dragon with, like a like, a camera attached to his head, and he's, like, flying over the general area over top Greetings, of Greetings, this is your dragon in the sky. <laughs> um, you see them looking down at what looks like to be a very, very large warehouse that is just on fire. Like, it's just on fire and is spreading. Um, and notably down below, like, you know, they had that, like, that, that scroll text of, of, like, information that kind of scrolls beneath. Um, it says, gang violence explodes in Dragon Ward. Um, notably eight dead, uh, and many injured in what appears to be an organized crime attack. Damn it. Is it stored. I assume that this is the orcs and the trolls, right? Mm-hmm. They said they yeah. had yep. dragons helping, we getting helped out. Yeah, I mean, we knew this was gonna go down. They confirmed eight dead. Uh, Gibby, you might want to tax Durzib. Uh, I mean, I've been avoiding it just in case I don't want that thing to go off if he's in a sensitive situation. Well, eight do dead? I, uh, do, do I have a way to contact the orc stronghold in general? Um, you can contact Amelia. Amelia. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll try that first. <laughs> don't know okay. how the Don's going to feel about you contacting a kid about organized crimes related stuff. Yeah, that... Mm. I'm not gonna talk to Amelia about it. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try a long shot. Again, I'm just... I don't want to text and accidentally, like, you know... It's you that scene in the movie where the text tone... Him. Yeah, you know, it's that scene in the movie where they're, like, hiding out and trying to hide from the enemy and suddenly their damn text tone goes off. Yep. Like, that's my fear. That's also why I'm not doing sending. Actually, no, actually, um, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Uh, first idea I want to try first. Can I call Mike? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the detective. I'm right, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah, let me try him. Yeah. Hi, what's up? This is Mike. She, <laughs> she wants more, not Mike. <laughs> oh, Mike. shit, my bad. <laughs> she wanted Jericho. Mark. Hey, what's up? Sorry, wrong Jericho. <laughs> There's too many characters with the same names, and this is my fault. <laughs> Mike, the, the detective orc guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can give him a call. Yeah, let me One try second. him. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, right. uh, the phone rings twice and you hear it pick up and goes, Detective Agency, how can I help you? Hi, Mike. Oh, you're um Gibby, right? Yeah, have you seen the news? Uh, yeah, I have. I'm watching it right now. Um, okay, um, I don't know if it is true, but I think Durza might be involved. And I don't know how to get in touch with him to see if he's okay. Uh, you can hear him, like, standing up from his desk and, like, moving around, clearly, like, pacing. Listen, Gibby, uh, this is... This is kind of par and course at the moment. You're gonna have to probably wait a while before you can hear from him, but he'll he'll message you. Plus, uh, he's not a red ring for no reason. He's, he's you know, the kid's got a good backbone, so... Okay. Mm. Um, above game, if there's eight people dead, is there a way to check who's dead? Would that be yeah. like at the co police station information you check or something? The police station, yep. Yeah. Oh god, I hate doing this. I will be like, um, all right, Mike. Thanks. I, I, I try not to call back, but I, uh, I I'm gonna check something out. Okay. Keep calm, Gibby. Don't worry. All right. Bye. Bye. And I will call. Oh my gosh. 
uh, Lucy. Ah. Okay, you call it Lucy. Uh, hi, uh, you guys enjoying your time off? Hi, Lucy. Um, I don't know if you've seen the news. Um, well, I've been listening to the radio. Um, the big warehouse fire in the da Dragon District? Oh yeah, there's like gang fighting or something like that. The mafia's like, I mean... Um, listen, they, they mentioned in the report that there were some dead. Um, do we have the names of who died? Um, I, I could contact the officers on duty, but... Yeah, would uh, you please? Could you, sure, could I'll, you check those names for me? I'll get back to you with that. You sound, thank, thank you so much. Drink some water, you sound really stressed. <laughs> I, I, I will, thank you, Lucy. Okay. She hangs up. At this point, I assume you guys are all together, just at one house, just... Uh, before we leave, though, I'm going to scroll through my phone. I'm going to hover on Yagnar for a bit. And then I'm going to text him. How are you holding up? Okay. Sorry, I ate at the most worst time possible. <laughs> More chewier than I expected. Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wonder Dad powers activate. Form of... A functional friendship. Uh, you get a response from Yagnar saying, I've been better. He sends you another text that says, Some at Priz that you even are texting me. Frowny, like a sad face. Despite my feelings on what happened, I don't want you dead. Dead? Question mark. And then there's a pause. Oh, the boy's out. Uh, you could tell that Yagner is not a person who texts. Like, there's no punctuation. Words are spelt wrong. <laughs> Rough. Too many dots and ellipses. Oh yeah, way too many. <laughs> Uh, he responds back, you talking about the boys at warehouse, question mark, period. Yeah. Dunno just yet, boss is waiting, they're coming back now, just trying to dodge the cops in the news. All right. I'm counting on you to make sure Amelia is safe. Uh, he responds with, she's going to school right now. So, yeah, she's safe. As far as she knows, nothing is happening. And that's the way we like it. All right. One last thing. Did you tell them where she was? Was it you? He responds with, I lost a finger for it. But yes, it was me. Okay, period. And then I put my phone down. Anything? Are you calling Amelia? No, no, I mean, I got what I... The information of from uh, Lucy is going to be the thing I need. So I don't okay. really need to call Amelia. Uh, you guys kind of wait like 20 minutes. It takes a long time. Uh, you get a call back, Gibby. Uh, uh, Gibby? Hey, hey, Lucy. Um, I, I have a list of the names of the confirmed dead. Um, okay. And you... Lists off the names. Durzab is not among them. It is all random uh, orc names. And a goblin. What is a goblin? <gasps> oh, phew, so nothing of value was lost. Yeah. <laughs> Racist. Um, after Goldie made that suit for you. 
Lucy, Who? um, uh, does there hap did there happen to be, um, a list of maybe injured or anything? Uh, not in our records, no. They'd have to be filled out at the hospital. Right, right, right. Um, okay, thank you so much, Lucy. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. <sighs> He's not on the list. Can Kel text back Costemeyer? Sure. And Kel will say, We are not involved in this. But thank you for getting, smiley face. After you get that, Cosmer says, one of you is a motherfucking liar. And then Bright immediately, you get a text going, I will piss on your grave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian is going to is going to text back, will you at least put some flowers on it? Uh, she, <laughs> she responds with poison ivy and then more piss. <laughs> You're not allergic oh. to that, are you? Question mark. Okay. <sighs> I guess there's nothing left to do but wait for them to check in back at the stronghold. <sighs> I am certain those it would be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the all, news report. Is I it literally his just life a lose his life? Tanis doesn't respond to Gibby. Um, does that, um, that news report, like, do you see anything beyond the fire? Like, do you see any dragons flying around, or do you just... Um, uh, roll a perception check while you're watching this news report. You don't see the sniper shot come through the window and hit you right in the... No. Uh-oh. Could we all do this? Yeah, I mean, Shit! Could we all do this? Sure, yeah. Watching I'm all busy, the TV I'm busy stream. texting. I'm not going to roll a perception. Eight. You did it. That is... Oh, no, please. Sixteen. Hey! Man, Gibby's high-definition television is so much better than the bunny-eared one. It's true. <laughs> what? What makes you think I have that? I would imagine it's because I don't have a good one. Brian, I mean, be... uh, I, He's texting, so I don't think he would see this. Mm, fine. Um... Kel, as you look in, notably, like this, this is a brass dragon, by the way. Like they're just like, it's like, it's like, uh, Garala, like some some dragon name. I, fuck, I can't think of names off the top of my head today. It's just not happening. Um, you watch as the the dragon, who's the eyes in the sky, who's a brass dragon, by the way, um, is kind of flying above, keeping a very steady shot. And the uh, the people back at the main uh, news channel are you know asking questions. They're like. So how many individuals were at this warehouse last night? And she's like, oh, uh, it appears to be, they assume around a hundred people. Uh, and, and it was just a violent incursion. There are noted areas of weaponry as well. Um, and, and, and death and blood. Uh, and you watch as he's flying, uh, Tannis is, or not Tannis, uh, Kel, as you're looking down, you notice that in the flames you see burning are some canisters, like some like, um, vertically tall, uh, cylindrical glass cases, um, almost identical to the ones that you guys found in Zara Files basement. Oh, geez. The ones that had people in them? The ones yep. that had people in them, yeah. The people oh. pods. Kel? Yeah. I do not know how delicate our work frames were, but uh, there are canisters. Like zero files burning in the fire. I hope they did not have people in them. Jeez. Uh, the news channel breaks away from the news and goes to something else irrelevant. Yeah, stupid commercials. Buy your white dragon toothpaste today. Put the <laughs> eye in. That stuff doesn't even work. Stupid knockoffs. Uh. Emerald Finance, because we all could use an ally in the sky. Oh, fuck yeah. you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Acid Back is just like, huh? What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Somewhere Acid Back sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a uh, So, what now do you think? I guess there's nothing else for us to do. I mean, it's still technically a day off. We can do anything we want. <sighs> So reason. Let's, let's let's hit up some things I can do kind of in a short amount of time. Tennis, you wanted to buy bullets. I did. 
Marblewitz. Tannis, you wanted to buy bullets. <laughs> bullets. Correct. Um, <laughs> bullets. Um, in terms of actual supplied ammunition, um, you're able to get three bullets from Lucy. Cool. Allocated. <laughs> she allocated three? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Not very wide we are in Resident Evil. Here, take that's how many I shot. Bullets. Apparently, I have a maximum. <laughs> so you get three bullets returned. Excellent. By the way, I just want to say, like, that's the thing in one of my one of the animes I watched recently, where the guy's like, "I want more bullets." He's like, "You have two. He's like, "What the fuck? I want more bullets." He's like, "You keep using them all. You only get two. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes. All right. And Bryant. Uh huh. You know who you could talk to to find those magical items you're looking for? Who? Oh. Your informant. Which one? The one that likes to run away from you and likes fast food. Fucking oh. damn it. Can I text them? Do I have to chase them down? They don't have a phone. Fuck. But for the sake of brevity, I'll say you chase them down at a very. Thank you. I was like, do we really down. have to do this? There is a magic no shop that uh, mm -hmm. exists in the Dragon's Ward that she recommends. Mm -hmm. It is called... Hang on, let me get my notes ready to go. Okay. Uh, my brain, again, just does not... It is called to... <laughs> the Dragon Ward Magic Shop. The, the House of Dragon. Dragon. The Double Dragon. It's called the Somatic Station. Ooh. those who don't know, somatic is the hand wavy parts yes. of your spells. Yes, it is. She Semantic recommends going there. Hand wavy party or what? She, well, it's the somatic component of a spell is waving your hands and doing You have to like wave your hands. Uh, yeah. If you ever like, if you ever get like, like your arms tied, tied up. Door, so. <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if, you're, uh, if your hands get tied behind your back, you can't use spells that require that. Like there's certain limits. Well, if you could make your, if your fingers, if you can move your fingers, you might be able to fudge it. All right. Uh, so what did she say? She recommends talking to who? Uh, Somatic Station. It's a small business, and I right. left the game by accident. One second. Uh oh. Uh, Whoops. Yeah, it, is the the, game. it is. It is the Dragonborn. Uh, in the, sorry, in the Dragon Ward. My brain is just stopped working. Uh, <laughs> it's in the Dragon Ward, and it's owned by a kobold. Ooh. What color? What color? What scale color? Uh, they are blue. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, it is a, like, trinket and magical item shop um, okay. that sells mostly in, like, really non-consequential things. Um, the prices are reasonable. They're expensive, but they're reasonable. They're way more reasonable than online EBIT prices on, on the internet. Um, Do they have a general price range? They do. Uh, the person, the person who owns the shop, who is this blue blue cobalt, uh, right. they have they have three of those items that you're seeking. They're a hundred yeah. gold each, though. They're a hundred gold each. They're a hundred gold each. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. That's a lot better than I thought. All right. It's expensive, but it's way better than what you yeah. can possibly. Yeah. No, that's not. All right, Brian's Brian's gonna make that trip then if he can. Okay. Um, so it will cost you 12 gold to give food to your informant because you wanted fast food. Fuck, that's gonna knock me out of what I need. I oh, is it? it? I thought we had coupons for that. Coupons don't make food free. No. Yeah, we're worried. Oh, so wait, are we all, are we all are we all with, with you, Bryant? You, Bryant. <sighs> are we all with you, Bryant? Yeah. I'm just gonna look at him and give him 12 gold. You know what? That's fair. You put down the five hundred for her. Get yeah, no, that's fair. And he basically is is risking going to eternal damnation. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the twelve. I can't. When you figure out what this is, yeah, twelve gold to Gibby. Okay, so you have enough. So, we're gonna, enough to so, buy. Gibby, Gibby, so now I have enough. Yes. Okay, so you buy those two eyeballs. Excellent. I'm going straight home. I know what you're doing. I'm going straight the fuck home as soon as I get them. 
Okay. You go straight uh, the fuck home and you Are you guys like- are you guys coming with Bryant, by the way? Can I roll Once kills to all the eyes on what he He's got? I'm gonna say no. I want you guys to find this out because Aww, so okay. Brian is Brian is gonna rush home, and anybody who wants to come with him can. He's not gonna stop anybody. Uh, he's gonna run upstairs, and uh, he's gonna I open mean, how the much door. time? How much time will this take? I still, I do want to try my thing, but I don't know. Well, we'll get we we'll get to yours. Don't worry. This all is right. Yeah. Uh, Brian yeah, is gonna run go. up. R- Brian is gonna run up the stairs. Uh, he's gonna open the door. You see, you see, he won't even close it. Where is Kobe? He's in his little pen. He's currently under his basking light. Uh, I am going to go over to the pen and open it up immediately. Hey, hey, Kobe, come, come here, boy. Come on. He, like, walks towards your, your voice and bumps into his bed, but then, like, kind hey, of readjusts. Oh. All right, we're going to try to fix that. All right, so, hey, buddy, I need you to, I need you, I need you to calm down, all right? I'm going to kind of, like, pet on the back of his neck to try to get him to just calm down. He like falls on his side like like a like a bulldog, just kind of like awesome. <laughs> kind of huffs <laughs> on his side. Uh, while he's laying down with the other hand, everybody will see Bryant kind of reach into a uh, a bag and pull out. It it almost looks like a little orb, um, and you can't really tell much beyond that. But you will see him move it over to one of Kobe's eye sockets, and he's gonna slowly place it in to see if he needs to either attune it specifically or if it'll attach on its own when it gets close to the socket roll a medicine check with advantage i'll say okay oh god you get guidance okay thank you no please i need this to work this is with advantage with advantage roll 20 i need you to work with me it's a 10 plus roll roll 111 is 11 enough you need to beat a 10 so you're oh my god oh Oh. Oh. uh you, you hop in one of the eyes and it, it, it fits. It, it actually readjusts to the size of the socket. Uh-huh. And like Kobe like begins to like thrash, like, like freak out. And like, you kind of hold on to him. He kind of kicks and whips the tail around. He's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Hey, 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 easy, easy. I'm trying to help you. Come on, man. Easy, he easy. Uh, with his head, he just, he actually blinks over the eye and kind of looks around. I know. Hey, right. Now you can actually see what I look like. Now, if if you can be a good boy for like five more seconds, I'm gonna do the other one. All right, roll over. You kind of like try and roll over. So he's too excited. Roll, roll. And he kind of keeps unrolling over. Roll, All roll right. a handle animal check for me. Oh, Jesus. And, and then you turn his tone. <laughs> it's gonna be a thirteen. Okay. Yeah, you manage to like pin him down. And you're like. Nah. All right. And then All go right. Ahead and roll another. Kel, Kel, can you hand me the other one? Yes. Here you go. All right. I assume that's guidance. Yep. All right. I'm going to plop down the other eyeball, and here we go. Oh, please. Advantage. And oh, thank God. 18. Nice. Jesus yeah. The other one just did. 19. Fucking easier, the sec- easier the second time now that you know that it works. Yeah. As <sighs> you let go of Kobe, he kind of like slaps around, like kind of with these big, big, chunky feet. Kind of looks around and blinks. The eyes themselves don't have pupils or irises; they're just kind of orbs. Mm-hmm. Um, they almost look like marbles, like like yeah. pure colored marbles. And you watch as he blinks, and he begins to like go up to things. It kind of like moves them with his face, and then walks up to another thing and looks at it, and like walks over to the window and like looks out the window, and like it just like he's kind of like an excited puppy is like running around and looking at things. He looks exceptionally happy. Well. Why don't you tell them what that item is? Uh, so, for those of you who are curious as to what Brian's been trying to buy for a while, uh, they are called, I want to make sure I say the name right, uh, in Ersatz I, E R S A T Z. I think that's Ersatz, maybe. But they're basically, if you lose your eye, this is something that can be attuned to you to basically give you vision back in your eye. And I was holding on to this because I was like, once I have enough money, this is the first thing I'm going to buy. So, there you go. Now but I also didn't want to spoil the moment for anybody, so that's why I messaged Monty privately. Now, he is a basilisk, but because it's not a basilisk because eye, he can't do... I can actually look eyes. at him, and he won't turn me to stone. This is actually, yeah. in a weird way, really, really good. <laughs> so, yeah, your basilisk can now see and is very, very, very happy. Hey, hey, Kobe, Brian is going to throw him the ball again. 
he chases after Amelia and grabs it and like he like yes! and like Take slams the side of the of the pen, almost knocking it over. It is kind of like rearing it up to you, like to give it to you. All right, give me the ball. Ball, ball, ball. Here. He like opens his mouth and it kind of drops. He tries to drop it over the pen, but it just drops on the floor instead, like next to him. Ugh. All right, <laughs> we're gonna work on this. All right, green eighteen, Dustin Hut. And Brian's gonna th- like fall back like a quarterback and throw it again at him. All right, uh, go ahead and just roll a general, just just dexterity check for me. Oh, this is <laughs> great. Oh, this is gonna be you bad. You bean him in the head. I'm gonna be like eight. No. Okay. You throw it and you're like, wow, perfect. And you realize between the, him, between Kobe and the ball is a bunch of terrain. And you watch as Kobe just like drives through, like he knocks over his food and water dish, his <laughs> ah! in the air, and he just like grabs <laughs> it and comes screaming back. It's if he can, does he catch it in midair? Does he catch it before it hits the ground? Does not no, he's still a little slow. He's still Fuck. Not All right. to it, but he does grab the ball and bring it to you, and he knows where to go. Ah, we're gonna forgive that one, but you gotta catch it on the fly, otherwise it's not a completed pet. Whatever, it's all right. Get over here. I'm gonna just kind of pat him, and then I'm gonna look back at the other three who are probably staring at Bryant like he's crazy. Nope. Uh, what? Biggest stupid giddiest smile on his face. What? Don't look at me like that, Rex. You're good. You are such a good pet parent. I'm so proud of you. Look, I I hate people, but animals I can do. Kobe, is he a good owner? That I so I'm gonna translate because I'm fluent in Kobe. Uh, He said, "Wow, he's like the MVP of pet owners." (sighs) You know, speaking of which, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out my phone and I'm gonna use Visage Book. I'm gonna look up where Feathers in Flight is. I'm going to do this. It's in the Central Ward. It's pretty easy to get to. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Guys, I think I'm going to go get me a burb. Oh, I'm sorry, what? A bird. Wait, like... Tennis slaps a nearby counter. Right. Mice. Almost forgot. What? What are are you talking... Mice. Bird, mice, basilisk. Look, if you're looking for things to feed Kobe, it's fine. I got got rats. It's fine. Absolutely not. You can come if you want, though. I need to pick up. Uh, only if Kobe oh. can come, because he can see now. Um, Kobe he might eat birds. birds. He's got this Kobe will on. probably eat a lot of the birds, but like that's the circle of life. Maybe go with Tannis then. He's yeah, because he totally won't eat the mice. Well, the okay. mice are meant to be eaten anyway. Fine. So, for the sake of brevity, uh, Tannis, you pick up. Rats. Specifically, you get bigger rats because your snake needs really large prey items. Rats. They're rats. Damn. They're rats. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> and Gibby, you managed to collect the gray parrot that you remember meeting uh, at the mausoleum. Um, they're on a perch when you walk in. It's, it's like an, a bird rescue. Um, and you just see an old woman. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> probably in like her 70s um she's got like big glasses and like this like cur- long curly gray hair um she's got like kind of a feather you think it's a feather boa but it's actually just like moss and so there's just like tons of birds hanging out on her shoulders uh the entire building itself is just a giant like aviary uh, excuse me ma'am yes um, I would like to adopt a bird, please. Oh, what kind of bird? We got love birds, we got cockatiels, we got budgies, we got ringneck birds, we got macaws, we've got uh, um, well, Amazon, um, blue-fronted Amazons, we've uh, got uh, um, um, timmy um, grays, uh, we've got... Uh, yes, no, uh, sorry. Um, specifically, I'll point to the parrot. That one. That one? That one's weird! Why do you want that one? <laughs> um, uh, I have a prior relationship with this one. How you doing, buddy? Things are going swimmingly. You hear an ev- evil diabolical voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been picking up stuff, haven't you? This one's weird! You hear it reply back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying not to laugh. Be like, yeah, I'll take him. I know. Okay. He's a weird one. He... He seems too smart for his own good. Memorizes things a little too quickly. Unnaturally so. Please be, he is very, very smart. I'm very smart. 
<laughs> okay, well, yeah, I'll get you a cage and uh, he kind of takes you over. Uh, in total, it costs 200 gold for him. Oh, uh, gosh. Par parrots are expensive and the cages are even more so. So this is actually a steal. All right. How are the cages more expensive than the animal? Does she, uh, did I get any food thrown into that? Yeah, you have food. You have okay, like cool. a, a parrot mix. Cages are expensive because they have to be solid metal because big parrots will chew through normal cages. Yeah, but I feel like he'd be smart enough to be outside his cage. Oh yeah, he totally could be. You still need them though. Like Yeah, if... fair enough. Bird what keeping is a complicated and very expensive beast. It's I don't recommend it to people. Nine ten. Yeah. Two. I have a question, Monty. Uh-huh. Being undead, does he still need to eat? You don't know. You don't know if he's undead. <laughs> No, oh, well, that's something I can ask him, thankfully. I detected good and evil and pointed me to the bird, so I assume. Silence is your answer. Blink. <laughs> hey, buddy, um, what do you want to be named? Just kind of cocks his head. You get the sense he's trying to say something, but he does not have the word for it. Hmm. Why don't I hold off on that till we find the wor the right word, huh? Oh. That would be appreciated. No problem. And um, I, I, no I problem. show I yeah. show him the food, and it's like, is this good for your food? Good for you. I'll have to take that as a yes. All right, let's go. Okay, you take the pair of them. Yeah, I got my boob. You guys, do some more grocery shopping and small shopping here and there. You all make your way home. And as you guys kind of sit at the couches watching TV, Gibby, there is a very loud knock at your door. Oh, coming. I check out the people. Uh, you see a very battered looking Durzib. <sighs> Just toss on the door. Are you okay? I saw the, I saw the fire. I, he kind of puts both hands on your shoulder. <sighs> you gonna come in? Yeah, yeah, come in. Guys, can you make some room on the couch, please? Oh, they're gone. It's just you at home. Oh, okay. You show up if you were with other people. It's like, yeah, come I'm in. I'm in come your in. bathroom waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> just sitting and waiting. Sword drawn. Who's <laughs> <laughs> kidnapping fucking kid, will you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> He just lets out a big sigh. Uh, notably, there is a bandage over his like nose. It looks like he's got cotton stuffed up one of the nostrils. Um, his eyes bruised. Um, his knuckles look broken. Do you want something cold for your eye? I, he kind of raises up hand. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'll be fine. I just, you know, got a bit roughed up. So what happened? Uh, well, you know, we started with speaking negotiations, things like that. Things kind of got tense. Next thing we know, we got one troll on every two of us. It's a fucking fight. I'll just say that much. I said, you know, it said you lost eight. Yeah, I mean, a couple rings and unringed ones for the most part, but, you know, you take every loss as you can. You don't come out out scathed of these sorts of things, you know. How'd you fare? You seem to be okay. Yeah, mostly um, got cursed, got t that taken off, but we gotta deal with um, a side thing about that. We'll figure it out. Uh, wasn't uh, the curse okay? A... Was it? You just a normal curse? Um. Do Do you know the procession? Yeah, it's the most dangerous thing in Lichward. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Um. You were, you were seen by the procession. Yeah. Well, um, don't, but don't worry, don't worry. Um, I'm I'm fine. Uh, Bryant, we still need to do some things for. I'm not yeah. pleased with him, but you know, Bryant, he is self-sacrificing to a fault sometimes. If he was an orc, he'd probably be one of Baron's favorites, but he's not, and he's also kind of got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. He's kind of like me when I was younger. Bitch. Except for I'm probably a bit more handsome. 
he kind of smiles. Well, without the, uh, he kind of pulls the cotton from his nose and just kind of like, actually, that needs to go back in. Yeah, that's kind of say that. Do you want another one? That'd be great, actually. That'd be, this one's rather a bit um, gross. So is that the extent of it? Just what I can see? I mean, the trolls got away, but we knocked them down a peg or two. Obviously, the truce is now over, so that's all done with, but, you know. Did anyone... There's up on the news, we saw there were body tanks burning. Hmm. Were there people in there? There were some. We got them out. Oh, God. They were, um, increasing production. There was some, uh, kind of, he kind of, like, sits down on your couch and he kind of clasps his hands together and he kind of stares down the ground. They had really taken the best of themselves. You see his eyes kind of go, like, a little wide, like he's kind of reliving it, and you can see him kind of shaking a little bit. They had magic, Gibby. They had some very serious magic. The trolls could cast it, or they've got extra muscle hired. What they were making for themselves. They were taking it themselves. That's how we lost our boys, and... What's next, do you think? After the Baron at this point, I'm just on standby. Don't be fucking with us, though, that's for sure. It's good. I'm glad you're safe, too. You're you're glad I'm safe. I had to ask for a list of the dead to make sure you weren't on it. Did you sure? Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, just don't worry your head. I mean, this is just it's an occupational hazard, <laughs> you know. You get to worry about me. I get to worry about you. Yeah, that's fair. Speaking of us, can we talk about us, you know, real quick? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you sure about this? Didn't we already have this co- discussion? Yeah, it just, it just seems stressed, though. I'm not that stressed about us. I'm more stressed about the surrounding situations. I mean, don't get me wrong, the the whole... Is Brown Jamar really gonna keep on with this blood trade stuff? You see him get kind of uncomfortable in his seat. That's not any stake of mine to question what the Baron does. The man saved my life and he basically raised me, so I have my reservations. Joseph, I'm going to tell you something, if you didn't already know. I'm a princess. Oh, your majesty? He kind of nods his head. You can see in his head, he's like, what does that mean? Fucking doofus. There's the the people they're using for the blood trade, the people being kidnapped. I'm like them. Do you have a castle? (sighs) It's not like that. It's, you well, you know how the trolls are all magicked up now, right? Temporarily. That stuff only lasts a little bit. Unless you get the really potent stuff, then maybe the last 24 hours. Yeah, that's, that's what our blood does. We're like magic batteries. Huh. Do you, you are. It, yeah, I mean, it's like, do you remember... You remember when we first met at the club and I was, you know, spouting my mouth off about things. And I told you about the dragon who kidnapped a princess and held her hostage. Yeah, was that your friend that we met at the, the food yeah. place? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's not a great life for people like me. I mean, my friend is lucky. He, she's, with, she's with a good dragon. But there are people who would kidnap us, kidnap us and break our bones to keep us in one place so they can just siphon off our magic. There are people who would harvest our blood. There are people who would outright kill me and take my blood. They don't need me alive for that. So you understand my reservations where I understand your loyalty to the Baron, but I could be a prime target for him. You watch as Jerzeb takes your shoulder kind of leans in and he kisses you on the forehead. 
I'd be a dead man before I let something like that happen to you. Barren or otherwise. He's gonna gonna bury my head in his collarbone. If that's not sensitive. <laughs> Don't know where he's hurt. He could be have broken ribs for all I fucking know. He, he takes it in stride. He doesn't seem to show any sense of distress. You and sure? Even if it goes against your loyalty to him? I don't want, I'm not, because I'm not asking you to, to do that, honestly. It'd be impossible to choose. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's try. It's been some time, but let's, let's try. All right. I mean, that's, that's what I meant when I said there's some bridges we need to talk about crossing. And I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to change, but, understand there might be things I won't be okay with. Like, yeah. you know, Tannis's daughter. Yeah, that was, um... Yeah, you're, he's... I don't know how he's gonna be okay with that, but, you know, if you can think of some way. He's, oh, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. He kind of, kind of just... He kind of just, like, lies down on the couch and kind of brings you with him and just is like... <gasps> you hear every bone, like, kind of crack in his spine. You need some sleep. Let's... You want to get some sleep? Yeah. First, I want to teach you about tusks. The first step to a relationship with the orc is you do not touch the tusks. He starts, like, he starts, like, like instructing you. <laughs> when you touch the tusks, that's like if I touch your butt. You don't do I... that. I'd probably be okay with you touching my butt, though. Okay. <laughs> right, cultural differences. That was something. But just, you know, if we're in public... You don't want to. You don't want to touch the tusks. <laughs> okay. You don't, you, don't, you don't want people thinking you're a tusk. You're a tusk toucher. Okay. Okay. You're Is that how you want to be known? You want to be known as Gibby the tusk toucher? Um, I feel like there's some cultural divides we need to figure out. Yep, there sure are, and we are going to have to figure it out, and it is going to be interesting. <laughs> <sighs> what do you want to know? Um, gosh, um, uh, when I kissed you with that thing, did that imply more than I thought it did? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sure did. Oh, oh God, did I, like, did I, like, did I, like, announce that we're engaged or, or that you were, like, my property? What did I do? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he starts laughing. Like, he just starts howling with laughter. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah. Okay, don't, don't hurt yourself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, you, you kissed me on the cheek and you touched my tusks, which basically means that you and I are very intimate, very intimate, um, which is bold, I must say, but also kind of embarrassing a little bit. Um, but you didn't know, so that's all fair and all that. And, you know, I'm so sorry. You know, humans, humans are so like, they're like, they're like, ooh, I gotta put my hand here, and ooh, we gotta hold hands here. That's like next level for orcs, right? If you like, if orcs trust you with their like hand holding, that means they know you ain't gonna kill them, and that means a lot more than you think. So you know, is it easy to kill an orc by hand? <laughs> he like he goes to say something, and like it just like suspiciously looks at you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna raise a hand and wiggle my fingers, like. Eh. I'm joking, it's okay. <laughs> he pretends to be afraid. Uh, well, it's just, I don't know. It, it's, you know, it's just like positions of power, things like that. There's a whole hierarchy. It's kind of ingrained in our blood. Always been that way. But uh, listen, so far you're doing great. He kind of pats you on the back. But let's, uh, uh, for our, both of us, take, let's take it slow so we can figure out each step each way. And no offense, but humans are fragile. Like You just trip downstairs and you die. And that's just... Well, to be fair, sometimes it's just a broken bone. Yeah. And, and then we get some needles and we fix ourselves up. You, their bones are like, you're like chicken bones. They're like, you just, you breathe on them too hard. They just snap in half. And that's just, that's wild. Or boy yeah. bones need some real pressure to break. Oh yeah. You're going to breathe on me and break my arm. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Give him a slight nudge. Okay. A lot of things to figure out. So yep. I think for now, I think you need some sleep. Yeah, I think I do. He just kind of lulls his head back and falls asleep. And that ends the second day of downtime. That oh. poor parrot is going to have so many new words. <laughs> he's going to be talking. Oh, he's going to 
Why are we talking in terms of this now? Tusk toucher. Tusk toucher. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Very intimate. <laughs> you touch butt, it's bad. It's like if, it's like if you touch the butt, it's bad. Uh, no <laughs> touching the tusks. <laughs> no touching the tusks. God. Wait, Durzip's New York now? Yeah, yeah, forget about it. This is what he's supposed forget to say. About right. it. He's Joey Triviano. Forget now. about it. All right, you guys spend a nice night together. Um, Ooh, do we? Wow. Yeah. Nothing happens. You <laughs> 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 don't want to set it all suggestively. Uh, no, I'm just saying. He uh, saved the it was more. He does. He does. He's got broken bones, man. He's right, not, right, right, right. Yeah, nothing, stre not, nothing strenuous on the broken no, bones. No, there's no way. Hey, there's no bones in that. <laughs> there's not? <laughs> no, it's purely vascular tissue. It's yeah, just, it's vascular. It's, it's a big meat. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Anatomy. Uh, now I know. I'm checking here. No, no, I can assure you there's no bones. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Monty's like gritting her teeth and shaking her head. Fuck hey, yeah. <laughs> I swear I to God, I'll murder you. I can feel a blood vessel in my eye right now. Like, <laughs> anyway, Tannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days passed, eventually leading up to the day to meet with Jakiro. Yeah. Where do you want to take him for food? Um, I will respect his wishes and I will take him somewhere expensive. I will take him to. Uh, I'll I'll take him to sort of uh, like the equivalent of Korean barbecue, whatever that would be. Okay. Uh, you take him to a place called Sizzle. Oh, I yeah. Now. Uh, Jericho, um, he looks a lot like you. I believe he's your older brother, correct? I'm trying to he's my that. younger brother. It's your younger brother, that's right. Yeah. He has hair, same color as yours, but shorter. It's kind of spiky. Um, he's also wearing sunglasses and he's wearing like a leather jacket with kind of a punkish t shirt. Um, and he's wearing relatively nice clothing. He doesn't look like a street punk, but he, he, he does look kind of slick and kind of like punk ish. Um, as you approach, he takes off his sunglasses and goes, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> hey, never day. And she kind of like, is like, hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has grown up. Come on in, bro. You guys Good to see you again, together. Jay. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Bureau. You look beat up. I got beat up. <laughs> How's finding work been going? Well, I'm a police officer now. Police slap my officer. Badge on, I slap my badge on the table. Kind of takes a look at it. You watch as he kind of puts some uh, enoki mushrooms on the grill. You guys start off with vegetables before you hit the meat. Mm -hmm. Just frying it up. Rampoon City Police Department, Prince Division. Prince Division. Yeah. You? Is that such a surprise? Roll an insight check. Uh, huh. 14? 14? Okay. There's an expression on his face you can't read. Hmm. Huh. Is that so strange? Well, I just, you know, I... Huh. Kind of slides the badge back to you. you. Must not be that busy. I've, uh... <laughs> a specific district, uh... Part of the police, huh? We are way busier than you think. Well, that's not good. <laughs> he drinks some of the cold water and kind of swallows. He, he points to the, to the scratch on his forehead from when he got hit with a fucking taxi sign. Oh, yeah, that's right. What happened there? Bugbear ripped the sign off a taxi and smacked me over the head with it. <laughs> he starts laughing at you. 
Ah, uh, glad to see some things don't change, huh? <laughs> oh. Trust me, I... That wasn't the first option. <laughs> Remember that time we would run around the city streets and you jumped too high up and you hit your head on a neon sign above a bar? <sighs> yep. I sure do. <laughs> oh, man. You were so mad at us, but we both kept laughing at you. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was a little bit of a firecracker back then. Oh, uh, yeah. You still seem to have it in you, though. <sighs> As for me, I feel really tied down with this job, but, you know, it pays well, at least. Yeah? What you got going? Uh, bodyguard work. Hmm. Guess you really did take after me. You even got the sunglasses down. Yeah. Of course. Looks badass. Right, Nefane? Uh-huh. She's, like, looking through a book. She's got, like, a novel she's been reading. What's the title of it? Uh, it's kind of like, okay, imagine, you know, Warrior Cats? Like, those Warrior Cat books? Yeah. <laughs> uh, imagine that, but it's, like, with snakes instead. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Sounds badass, actually. Yeah. <laughs> My client's kind of a weird one. Well, not weird, just, uh... You ever have it where you bodyguard someone, you're like, why am I bodyguarding you? You know what I mean? You know, I've learned to just block out that part. Mm. It's, a lot, it's a lot to focus on. Yeah. They all have their eccentricities, but... You know. As long as they're not bad people. I've bodyguarded bad people. And you knew? Hmm? And you knew that you were bodyguarding someone bad and you just did it? We had to do what we had to do to get by. And I didn't do it for long. I found something better eventually, but... You know, it wasn't easy. Growing up just the three of us in the street. Yeah, tell me about it. I don't need to. You watch as the meat arrives on trays. It's a it's a dragonborn that delivers it and goes, here's your food. She kind of slides it off to you guys and keeps walking. Thank you, ma'am. Roll an insight check on your brother. Hey, it's a 10. <laughs> Great. It seems to be in deep contemplative thought. I actually... I actually found the Prince Division job from my last gig. What, that singer? Yeah, the Harpy. Yeah, she's nice. She... Well, she saw something in me, I guess. I won't forget what she told me when she retired. She said I've been protecting her for most of her career and that I needed to protect the people that needed it the most. People who don't have a protector. And so I went to the Prince Division because it seems like they need the most protecting and they don't get them. Aren't you afraid? Of what? Of the enemies of that division? Can I inside him again? <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Eleven. He seems genuinely concerned for your well-being. You mean he's your brother. Yeah. Of course. Of course I'm concerned. It's tricky business. But I know I can do it. And if I don't do it, who else will? He sips some more of his water. You guys enjoy eating. Um, he doesn't actually tell you a whole lot about his new job because it's actually very confidential. Um, mm. But he says the guy he's working for is really rich. Um, 
and that's basically the gist you get. You guys, you know, reminisce. He asked Nefane about school and the snake, and I don't know if you want to tell him about the Orc Mafia or not. That's up to you. I'm keeping that to my chest. <laughs> okay, sounds good, yeah. Uh, he does ask about your ex-wife, uh, kind of under the table when Nefane goes to use the bathroom, just to you know, make sure that you're both okay. And I don't know what her deal is. Yeah, you kind of didn't pick the best one there, did you? No offense. I mean... I don't know, Jay. It's just... It seems so strange to me. Like, why well, she... You know, ten centuries and we want to move on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's kind of in our blood. Don't blame yourself too much, but... At the very least, you can make time for a kid. Exactly. Like, is her work so important? Sometimes people think if they don't work, they'll die. Tell me about it. Anyway, I should probably get going. Already? Thanks for the food, and uh, keep in touch. I'll try and make time if my employer lets me. That's my line. <laughs> Take care, big bro. He kind of pats you on the shoulder and steps out. Stay safe, Jay. You too. I think you're in more danger than me. Hmm. Well, I can handle it. He walks out the door. Ding, ding, I, ding, nuggie ding. I nuggie him before he goes. Nah, don't, don't. Come on, we're adults now. <laughs> <clears throat> Get out of here. Be careful. I mean it. Don't you go too. in over your head. I'll be fine. He nods and he leaves. We shall speak upon my return. The hell is that about? Huh. So, you guys enjoy the remaining week off. And as you return, the Prince Division, guess who gets to do paperwork for literally months? Lucy. Not me. Everyone, hooray! Who wants, who wants to roll for it? Uh, I just realized I right have a very... <laughs> roll for initiative! I'm, I'm, Tannis, Tannis flashes back to the meeting with Jericho. <laughs> Must not be very busy, 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 busy. <laughs> oh, no. I have a question if I may. Uh, yep. During that uh, week of time off, was I able to obtain any of the items I was after? Um. Because they're not really things that need to be rolled. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, Ooh, get, you can get the diamonds for sure. And you can get the focus for sure as well. I should have done that during the actual like shopping part. I'm sorry, I missed that. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Obviously, write off the amounts that you were using, but you can easily find these things. Yeah, Funny enough, the shop that uh, Bryant went to, Semantic Station actually has all this stuff too. That's kind nice. of what I was thinking. Hey, about, I didn't want to hey, yeah. Semantic Station. Oh, this dream. is my this is my favorite spot in the dragon. All your district. dreams come true. <laughs> Reminds me of Penn Station. So, my question is Reminds now. Reminds me of Shining Time Station. This now asks the question: Do you guys want to deal with this Bodak thing? I mean, uh, we already put the down payment on it, so I assumed that we were going to. At some point, I am prepared for it. I have daylight, and I found out so many lovely things I can do with it. All right, well then we might as well knock it out. I mean, what, tonight? Yeah. I still haven't upgraded my spells. You'll be all right. <laughs> no, I just need totally no in the session. We're not going to do it this session. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sure, if they want to do it next. Okay. So, we're going to actually call the session a bit earlier today. Just because we all got right. to down time really quickly. But next session, you guys are going to pay your debt to Lady Odelia in dealing with the Bodak. We're gonna end the session for tonight. That was Goodbye, fun. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Hopefully, the audio is okay, Austin. It should be. God damn it! My headphones keep beeping. It just does not want to stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's twenty-four, right? Episode twenty-four. Yep. Yeah. Twenty-four. Go. Good session, guys. That was some good downtime. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we're back January 2nd, correct? We are back on the, yes, we're back January 2nd. So the 26th, which is Boxing Day, we will not be having a session. This is our last session of the year, actually, of Prince Division. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so, yeah. Last the, session of Prince Division for the year of 2020. And we have and then the 30th will be the Unexpectables last session of the year. Yeah. This was fun. Some yeah. Knockouts detected in my audacity recording. Where oh, the is there? System was freezing. Oh dear. Okay. Well, just let Austin know, and he can probably look yeah, at maybe it. Was hopefully, hopefully, it wasn't when you were talking. It probably would have been those moments I probably cut out mid sentence. Does your Does your program there. indicate where the dropouts are? Because I know Audacity will be like, "Here's where." Yeah, it was. Audacity here, is here, like, here, "Hey, here. pointed out every yeah. single one of them." Yeah, there will be. Honestly, take think, a screenshot so that it. he you can know, see where it is. It'll mark it in the track as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, earlier, um, I also am dealing with my headphones beeping every like two minutes, and no, it's a little bit batty. You're right. So. Yep. Did it feel shit? It's only like a half hour less than we yeah. normally do. Only yeah. a half hour. Go, like last session, I think we went like to like eleven. Like we went yeah, really we went, like late. four hours. Yeah, so that's honestly fine for, for. We did have a boss fight, so. Yeah. All right. So twenty four. Do we have a title in mind? Does Chad have a title in mind? Because we always forget to name the Prince Division. No, we should. Uh, Chad, you have any name suggestions for us? No bones about. Uh, it. No bones about it was going to be Vulcan what DDD. I. Bones didn't really feature that much, of it, so. Yeah, but Boys. they featured at the part that was the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like touching butts. <laughs> it's like touching your your tusks. You don't you don't want to be giving a tusk toucher, do you? Yes. This thing is like maybe it's I just do. The, it's just the the Slavic guy meme. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the tusk toucher. Oh, I get my own cool name. Oh my god, that's your new wrestling name. Gibby the Tusk Toucher. Well, it's like my like my dragon style name, you know. Nice. Kel will remember this. <laughs> if you decide to tell him. Ooh, a price to pay is pretty good. Oh, there you go. Good. This was shopping episode, so. That's actually a good one. Yeah. I like price to pay. Price to pay. Write it down. Like price to pay. Yeah. I'll write it down. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Audio submissions. Audio jungle. Should I just upload the Audacity project as well? Uh, you'll want the exported file. Um, well, I'm being yeah, if you if you send him a screenshot, out. that'll probably help him more than the actual session file because he might. Even I, I doubt he uses Audacity for this. Yeah. He doesn't use Audacity, no. So if you zoom all the way out and it shows you where everything drops out, and you just screen cap it, he'll probably be able to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to zoom way out for that. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm yawning. Oh, boy. Well, while you're yawning, Monty, why don't you plug? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be Final Fantasy IX. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. It might start a little bit late, depending on how things go. But my hope is to do another long stream of it, because I really, really enjoy the game. Uh, and then on uh, Thursday, hopefully, I've, I've had to put it on the past week. Actually, no, because Thursday, I think, falls on. Uh, Thursday is Christmas Eve. I'm not streaming on Christmas Eve. So it's going to be uh, the stream tomorrow on the 20th. And then I'm probably not going to be streaming until after Christmas. Um, and if I do stream before Christmas, it's going to be impromptu and probably just silly, goofy, haha fun. So definitely come and check it out. Hey, Sarah, where can they find you? I'm on Twitter. Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. Yay. Anything, anything new come no, out or no? I just don't, I don't have any shilling to do right now. No? Later. Shilling. You don't have anything shilling, out? I, I talked about everything I was in. There's a new Hello Kitty Super Cute Adventures episode out that is in that is all film noir style, and I loved that episode. It was hysterical. You should maybe talk about that. I already talked about being in Hello Kitty. But not the film noir one. That actually sounds cool. It's fun. I had a fun time with that one. Hello Kitty taught me how to break into a house. Uh, but, uh, but, 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 but moving on. <laughs> Arch, <laughs> where can they fight you? For context, it was a uh -huh. Hello Kitty where they the, there was like an evil wolf or something that locked itself inside of a house. So Hello Kitty jostled the lock, dropped the key, and slipped it underneath the door. It was very, like, it blew my mind as a child, and I thought that was how you break into a house. 
Nice. You did it. Arkov, do the thing. You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Edward Bosco, where Fridays we do MW Friday Night Flashbang, which is long form storytelling with the community's characters. You can also find me tomorrow doing another signing stream, I do believe. And if you, sure about you want that? something to sign, not that I'm going to uh, chill too much, we can head on over to streamily.com slash Edward Bosco to pick up some prints that I, Edward Bosco, have to sign. Also, you can find or, me in uh, Yakuza, like a dragon. Play a guy named Mabuchi. Or, or you can watch me on twitch.tv slash Arkov, where I, Arkov, play Yakuza, enter the like dragon, where I beat the character played by Edward Bosco with one character single-handedly while everyone else stands around and does absolutely nothing. Or you could tune in on Sunday nights where I play with the Murder Cave where we've been warhammering it up. But come to see if me, Shadow Dancer Bob Grizzly Adams, and Codename Chaz change it up this time. Also, we're raising money for a good cause. When you pop by twitch.tv slash Arkov, you can absolutely donate either bits or subs or straight up donate to help us reach our goal. Every little bit counts, and we appreciate it. And I know how much I, Arkov, love to help people. So if you could donate your bits, your leftover bits this holiday season, I will gladly take every single one. I just want to fucking strangle you. Also, tune in on Wednesdays where we're going to be meeting for you two. Also, tune in on Wednesdays where uh, this coming Wednesday, instead of the Unexpectables, Arkov, I, and Edward Bosco, him, are going to be playing some Halo 4. And you're more than welcome to join either of our streams because if you donate to his stream, he'll give me the money. And I love when he does that. Or you can donate directly to me, twitch.tv slash Arkov. Hey, Connor, where can they find you? I think you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and uh, YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesdays, we're playing uh, Warhammer 40k Kill Team via Tabletop Simulator with my buddy Luke and whoever want else wants to uh, stop by, as a matter of fact. Uh, current ongoing game is His Word Bearers versus my Katachan Jungle Fighters and... Uh, G.I. Sleeveless Joe is still going head-to-head -head in a fist fight against a corn berserker, so he is an absolute chad, and I can't wait to see how that one resolves. Um, I also play Yakuza Kiwami 2 on Saturdays right before this stream, and that has just been a blast. I, I love that game. So much fun. We, we found Majima and, and his construction Clash of Clans minigame. It's weird, but it's really fun. Uh, this game is just so jam-packed. Uh, also, tomorrow I'll be playing uh, games with the Harbingers. And speaking of which, uh, they are the greater community over at the uh, Dead House Sonata Discord. And if you haven't heard of Dead House Sonata, you obviously uh, just tuned in. And uh, why are you tuning in in episode 25? That's weird. Go back and watch the rest of them. Uh, it's uh, Dead House Sonata is a... A uh, game where you play as the undead to fight the living. It's narratively driven, and your actions will have consequences in the greater world. Uh, and it's going to be an absolute blast. And you can pre-purchase that right there at that link. Uh, get early access before it comes out for free later next year. Also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I just released the Paladin Oath of Joy subclass. Uh... Has a lot of really neat support abilities. You can bolster your allies with gifts of magic and in other enhanced support abilities, and it will be absolutely fantastic. Please, if you are so inclined to purchase, please leave a review, leave a rating. Uh, I, I love reading what you guys have to say about subclasses, and if you play test, tell me about it. I want to hear what you have to say. And uh, let's just say that somebody wanted to roll up those those characters. What kind of dice would you recommend they use? Well, I would recommend they use Die Hard Dice. What? I actually, I actually just got in some Christmas presents from our friend Diana over at Die Hard Dice. Oh, I've got you? some. I've got some nice uh, sparkly brown uh, polymer dice that are just so light in my hands. Like I just dumped them all over my desk. <laughs> and you can hear them. Uh, the color is so great and it pops so much with these dice uh nice rounded edges 
so you're not like poking yourself trying to grab them or anything. Uh, the polymer dice are, are very, very light, uh, as, as per tonight. I rolled an eight. Not that great. Uh, they look fantastic. They got nice little sparklies in them. They look like coffee, honestly. Coffee you look diced. like coffee. And I've also uh, got the Celestial Relic dice, the white and gold ones, and they look really damn good. Uh, and I recommend that you grab some dice as well. And if you use the coupon code... Expect joy. Uh, tomorrow is your last day to get 15% off using that coupon code. Every other day after that, it'll be 5%. So if you're thinking about picking up some dice trays, some carrying cases, polymer or metal dice, go now. Use the coupon code Expect Joy and get 15% off your order at Die Hard Dice. Nicely done. Do we have any bits and subs to call out? Anything sure at all? Sweet. Sure. Do. By the way, don't forget to go to, uh, if, for those of you asking about Arkov right there, that's the link. If you want to help out, we appreciate you. I, Arkov, love it. <laughs> um, look at the Prince Division. I can't General wait to see him just go. deck you the first time you two meet. No, pow! <laughs> I finally found the perfect GIF. Here we go. Uh, Ty of Nerlandia with the 550 bits. So when Monty has to give you info to help you along, does that make her the hints division? <laughs> <laughs> also, Ty of Nerlandia, thank you for oh, the good. six months of savage. Hi, hope you're all doing good. We are doing good. Or I'm doing good, at least. Rook Cat, thank you for the nine months of tier one savage. And for the 1,000 bits, holiday bits, happy holidays to all, and happy holidays to you, Rook Cat. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 300 bits. I perked up immediately when Dungeons and Digimon was mentioned. Please let that be a one-shot. I would die, even if Bosco's Agamon impression uh, is so, <laughs> it's so good that it's upsetting. Here's the question. Oh, I wonder how you would, run that. would you play as Digimon or would you play as the Tamers? Who have I think you would. I think you would play as the Digimon before they show up because there's stuff that happens before people show up. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I need, a I need, a I need to find a place for these. I actually, I actually I might need a dice bag time. now. I have. Moment, Ty Henry. Not gonna lie, I would be 100 percent game for a Dungeons and Digimon. Then I could point. finally play as Gabumon. Maid uh, Barry, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Jessica Senpai and Knights One Angel. Bangalangs zero zero, thank you for the one thousand bits. Nurses Aid here. Just wanted to thank you guys for continuing to produce quality content during these hard times. You guys give me something to laugh about. Well, thank Yay. you for listening. Roman Penguin, thank you for the three hundred bits. Miki D92, thank you for the nine months of seven in a row. Woohoo! Barbarous ZX, thank you for the eight months. Hooray for some Christmas PD. Uh, Maida Berry, thank you for getting a tier one sub to XX Bloody Sins XX. Tobiax54, thank you for the eight months of subbing. Katsumi Kazuka, thank you for the 100 bets. Thanks for the stream so far, guys. So happy to have something to distract myself as the year. Ended on a sad note for me and my family. I think we read these bits, actually. Oh, that was when we went to the break. Yes, I got yeah. that. Uh, do you remember who we stopped at? Uh, I think... Keep going down the list because start saying names. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret. Blackfoot Ferret again. Avion. We have got 500 bits at the time. Yes. Uh, then Lita? No. What was their message? Uh, happy Crimin and a belated Happy Hanukkah to all. Yes, that's you can pick up right there. Perfect. All right. Uh, Maida Berry, thank you for getting to tier one sub two. Dark Rose, that's four. Hot darn. Othbreaker John, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Bryant, how's the boy, good boy Kobe? Also, you guys deserve a break. You work so hard to do this and all. Oh, well, Monty well, works you. so hard. Well, thank you, Othbreaker John, for the 100 bits. And yes, I am going to keep saying it like that because there's no A in it. Uh, Constable Mutton, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Iba is easily my favorite character from any of those games, and that's not an easy choice. Uh, Bangalang, thank you for the 400 bits. Zobi did nothing wrong. Viridian Winter, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Dark Ronin 21. 
Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the eight months of Prime subage. Bryant and Kobe are such pure pet and owner energy. Yeah. Yeah. Bangalangs, zero, zero, thank you for the 300 bits. And with Kobe's eyes settled snugly in place, they say Bryant's heart grew three sizes that day. It's true. Rand Cossack, thank you for the 100 bits. Bits for Kobe being healed as all good boys and girls should. Best pet, MVP, most valuable pet. Yeah! Thank you for the 100 bits. Protoss, 103, thank you for the 145 bits. Still waiting for Bryant to open the letter from that dragon lady. I think it was given to him, wasn't it? Yep, Kelmay took to deliver the plant cutting and the letter. Uh-huh. And the kiss. The wink. It was a wink. It's oh, the wink. Inventory. Whatever. It was a wink. It's in my inventory, and it is actually there, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> you uh, cannot escape. The silliness shall follow you. Mortela, thank you for the eight months of seven. Yay. May DeBerry, thank you for the uh, subbing for two months. Much love. Much love to you, May DeBerry. Katana Coltist. Thank you for the two months of Prime Subbage. Downtime is honestly a good way to end it. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. I want an episode with double with a double date of Gibby and Durzub with Lucy and Jericho. Have the conversation cover tusks and tails. <laughs> <laughs> of tusks and tails. Of I can see Durzub getting really into that conversation. Uh, from... Nom Nom Goblin, think we're the 300 bits. Last PD of the year. Arkolf and Sarah have a merry whatever. The rest of you are looking forward to the last Unexpectables for the year on Wednesday. Actually, sorry to spoil it. Unexpectables last one was last Wednesday. Uh, no, because we're, 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 we're playing on the 30th, Bosco. Uh, oh, right, because there's one between now. But yeah. wait, but the next one's the 23rd. The we're, next one is the 30th. Right. The next, the next Unexpectables episode is on the 30th. So oh, yeah, it's on the 30th, but there's a week yeah. off. There is still yeah. one off. Yeah, there is a week we off. Have, All right. We have an Unexpectables episode before the end of the year. That's yes. Yet. Okay, that's what they're saying. Got it. It'll be pretty pretty much right at the end of the year. It'll be it'll be New Year's Eve Eve. Um, right. Like the video, you're thinking for the 100 bits. Since this is the last episode of the year, thank you for being a consistent positive in 2020. And thanks for being fun, cool people. Well, thank you, like Tabuya. And thank you for the 100 bits as well. Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 300 bits. Bosco meets Arkov. Bosco. Oh shit, hey Arko Arkov. Hug me, you son of a bitch. Bosco. <laughs> I, I can't breathe. And then Ed died. Oof. Thank you for that wonderful thought, Matt. No, I'd be yeah. saved because a rape would blow up Arkov and I'd run away. <gasps> I see. I'm talking about if the we're real in that close world, proximity. Dude. You're dying too. No, I'm going to be just outside the blast right? right? That's how it works. Oh, <laughs> like how it was in the game like last time. <laughs> yeah, where I was just outside the range. <laughs> I'm going to link uh, that clip so people know. Not in the chat. I'm going to link it here in the server for yeah. Monty and the others so they have context. Yeah. I'll link it in the Each chat. Oops, heart. Thank you for the five bits. Fuck you, Bosco. Gilmon is my favorite Digimon of all time. Is it Gilmon or Gilmon? It's Gilmon. 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 Hello, Tatterman. River Rat, thank you for the 100 bits. Good vibes. Good vibes to you too, River Rat. Uh, I remember and what my favorite Digimon is, but I always forget what it's called. I have to look blue. it up. I have, it. I have, yeah, I've, yeah, would you describe anything? Actually, I think probably my favorite one is the Mega Evolution or like the, the Mega Evolution of Andrew Woman, which is like, a, it's like a giant, like, cat dragon. It's really cool. Oh, Magnamon. Magnamon. Yeah, Magnamon. I really like Magnamon a lot. I loved the Magnamon when I was a kid a lot, too. Trying to think of who else I liked. I liked Renamon, but then of course you did. Now with Renamon, Renamon being like really popular in the the, hmm. the community now. <laughs> oh my kid. god, she's like a f her and fucking Crystal from Star Fox. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to think of who else, because it's like Generation One. My favorite was probably Biomon, because I like birds. Aww. Generation Two, I liked Hawkmon. Obviously, birds again. Hawkmon was pretty good. That's legit. Three, three was Renamon. Four, I didn't watch, and the rest I really didn't watch. Um, so 
I'm Guess gonna why be was great though. I'm gonna gonna be the super normie edgy pick and if say if you that say Beelzebub fucking Beamon, I'll kill you. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Yeah. Oh, interesting. The one, the I... one with the leather jacket and the two yeah, pistols that and the wings sense. and the yeah. Oh, yeah. Beelzebub. I liked Patamon and I liked Lilymon. Look, oh, I'm so cool. y'all. Y'all are crazy. Omnimon was the shit. I liked Myotismon for the first season. Yeah. That's a good choice. Too. Why did you like the Om bad guy? Omnimon is bad villains. And it was uh, cool. Okay, if I had so did you like Black War Greymon? Black War Greymon, yes. Okay, that one I'll give you. That one was pretty badass. Black War Greymon, best. He's, he was he's pretty badass. Actual gay. Also, but fuck Vimon. Back when, back, uh, way back when, when it was still really popular in the U.S., uh, Magnamon was my favorite easily. Was it because it's the pink dragon? I I, I always forget their no, name. No, there's a Magnamon and a Magnamon. Magnamon yeah. is blue with gold armor. Yes, okay, they're yeah, different. Yeah. They are different. Magnamon is the one I like, which is the the dragon one. Yeah. It's oh. welcome to the official Digimon podcast. <laughs> yes, seriously though, you hey. Hey, but we can your host Agumon. Hey, Monty. Do you want to talk about how the third uh, the third season was really really creepy and actually had horror elements added into it because that was a good idea and also wasn't absolutely horrifying as a what, child? You mean the yeah, Reaper? let's talk yeah. about it. eating everything. I'm all yeah, about that. During the planet, that shit was scary when I was a kid. It was messed oh. up. Can we also talk about there's no such thing as a Leomon that is safe? Yeah, no, Leomon yeah, always They die. always <laughs> die. Anyway, speaking Pepper of Leomon. Breath. <laughs> speaking of Leomon, Brand Kostak with a 100 bits. If Kel and Co. were getting into vegetable cleaning, would that make them the rinse division? <laughs> har, har. Uh, Rand Cossack with the additional 100 bits. Also, Black War Greymon is still the best. Black War Greymon's pretty kick ass. Uh, we He's have a lot of people streaming right now who we can raid. It's true. Well, hang on. Uh, oh, he's not done. Oh, shit. Uh, because Blue Kios 445 dropped another 10,000 bits on us. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. For everyone to have a happy holidays and a good new year we can only hope merry ho ho we can only merry ho ho oh i just thought of another cool bancho leomon is fucking one of the most badass characters ever he's created Jojo leomon. He's, Jojo. he's yes but he's so leomon badass did not die he's so badass so badass there, that he broke the curse he did there will there will always be a soft spot in my heart for Gay icon, Black War Greymon. Yeah, Black War yeah. Greymon. Gay icon, Black War Greymon. Yeah. Anyway, who are we rating? I don't know. We who can rate your brother rating? for once. We've I, got... I was going to say, uh, pay, uh, Alfred is also streaming as well. Also Alfred true. is streaming. We like uh, Alfred as well. Al yeah, Alfred's been dealing with a lot of We almost never issues. raid your brother because he's never streaming during our stuff. Yeah, but he's, I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him either. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> He's fine. I rather I rather raid Alfred because Alfred. Yeah, he's that's he's fine. had a couple of medical issues. Yeah, over the, over that's the all past good. Let's do Alfred. Months. Um, our raid HP. Uh, everyone just yell at your favorite Digimon. Fuck it. Yeah, we yeah. yell your favorite Digimon. There you go. Uh, right. I already got mine. Going now. Yell at your favorite Digimon. It's true. Do it. Don't be cheeky do and pick Pokemon. Also, yes, I found yes. out probate hates Terrier Mon. Yes! 